And welcome to the Lander Center here in South Haven, Mississippi, as the Birmingham Bulls, after 16 years, are getting ready to drop the puck against the Mississippi River Kings. I'm here with Art Clarkson, general partner with the Birmingham Bulls. Art, what does it mean to you, and what does it mean to this city to have the Birmingham Bulls back in action? Well, for me, it means I'm bringing the Bulls back, because uh, I was with the Bulls back in the 90s. We were very successful, and it's time to bring them back, because the environment, and the, it's the right time. The city of Pelham is... 100% behind us in the greater Birmingham area seems to have really responded to our hockey team. So, I mean, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a new adventure. Uh, there'll be, uh, you know, obviously there are going to be a, a lot of ups and downs the first year, but we're going to really have a, a good year. But again, uh, people be patient on the construction and everything else we're doing. Thank you, Art. We'll be right back with the drop of the pub. Hockey is back in Birmingham, live on ACN, presented by Alabama Professional Services. Call the Shield.com next. Call the Shield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems. APS shields your home from termite infestation, unwanted pests, mold and water intrusion, sagging floors, and unhealthy lawns. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. That's calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Education as we know it is becoming obsolete. The world keeps changing, but the way we teach our children barely has. And there is no one right solution to change that. Instead, it's going to take a lot of bright minds working together. At JSU, our goal is simple. Shape the next generation of teachers and change education through how we educate. So if a career in education is in your future, well, then there's no question where you're going. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the best. by Cross Creek Christian Academy getting us set for tonight's matchup. As we were talking right before the break, the River Kings are spirits a little high after that win over Knoxville, a game where they did not trail the entire game. Tonight, a little bit of a different story because you have history possibly going against you, and that's in the sense of a team beginning their very first season in the SPHL. Tonight, we're gonna see a different goaltender in for Mississippi as we talk about starting lineups. Jared Rutledge is going to get the start. Here's a guy who started out playing in NCAA for the University of Michigan, got in 10 years, 10 games his freshman year, before ultimately transferring out to Aurora University and finishing his career out that way. Here he is back in the SP, excuse me, back playing hockey, this time for the first time professionally. As for the other starters, the exact same lineup as we saw last night. On defense, Ralph Grinbergs. He's going to be flanked with Matt Harrington and the three forwards who started and are going to consist of the first line for most of this year for Mississippi. Devin Manta flanked on the outside by Pius Rula Vicious and Derek Sutliff. As for Birmingham, they come into the game with Maverick Parks in net. Here's a guy that they picked up during the expansion draft who played last year with Columbus, the team who is no longer in the league. 
in front of him on defense, John Ray, another guy that they picked up through that expansion draft. On the other side, next to Ray, number 24, Sean Gamage, the six foot four, 216 pounder. And as for the forwards, Craig Simchuk, alongside with Phil Tesserero, and number 23, Andy Bathgate. As the centers get ready here to step inside the circle, it's Bathgate and Mantha that are gonna square up. They're checking with the doors to make sure the doors are closed. We got the signal. And here we go, the puck is dropped, and the Birmingham Bulls officially members of the SPHL. Mississippi wins the draw, it's back to Harrington on the near side boards. He's gonna bank it behind the goal, and Mantha with it now. Almost turned over there, good forecheck by Birmingham to keep it in the zone, but Harrington gets it back. He plays it over to his D partner, Ralph Grinberg. Grinberg's out of Latvia, looking for a long lead pass, trying to find Derek Sutliff, but Sutliff would have been offsides. Does not play it up, and Birmingham with the interception works it out the other way. Mississippi on our left, working their way to the right, going the opposite direction. On our right, working our way to the left is Birmingham. Pius Rulavicious with it now. He scored a goal last night. He scored the fourth goal and the topper, ultimately breaking that 3 3 tie against the Ice Bears with about four minutes left to go in the game. He's out there on that top line. We get our first switch. Ryan Marcuse is out there. He sends it all the way down, and we're gonna get our first stoppage and our first whistle for icing. Talked a little bit about the masked men. You got two guys here that are a little bit different when you wanna look at it. Maverick Parks, he has that experience. He's been playing in the league since 2016, 17. He also played a handful of games with Adirondack in the ECHL, which ironically, Adirondack is the same franchise as the former ECHL Birmingham Bulls. They moved to Stockton, then they moved to Adirondack. Everything, everybody moves. On the other hand, you got Jared Rutledge, who I'm sure has some nerves as he makes his professional debut. Birmingham wins the draw in the Mississippi defensive zone. Mississippi gains control of it and works it out to the neutral zone. Big, crunching hit down low. That's Phil Tesserero laying the smackdown on Yesmukan Tolipergen, one of the brothers from Kazakhstan on this roster. We didn't see much of brother Beck last night. We'll see if that changes. Good hustle by Birmingham getting down to nullify the icing, but it's ultimately handled by Mississippi and tipped up and over the glass and out of play. 18.35 left to go here in the first period. No score, no official shots on either goaltender. They have not yet been tested. Mississippi wearing their gold, their home gold jerseys, which we talked about a little bit last night. That's a gold top with the Mississippi M right on the front. White sleeves halfway down before the gold resumes. Black names and black letters. On the other side for Birmingham, they're in just about all black. They have black from head to toe, aside from two red triangles on the hip area, white name plates, and white lettering. Mississippi wins the neutral ice draw, sends it all the way back behind. They've got it in their own zone, a backhand pass. That was made by Chris Stapps Bozovic. He was looking for Dylan Fox, not able to connect, and it slides all the way down past the goal line for icing. couple other games on the docket this evening as well in the SPHL. We'll get you those updates throughout the intermissions, but the other games going on, the Macon Mayhem, they're at home as well against Huntsville and Evansville posting Peoria. Mississippi wins the draw in their own zone and the River Kings are moving it out. Leaving it there for Dylan Fox. That was Tola Bergen, and Tola Bergen's gonna get called for a delay penalty. Shot in on goal, hits up top off the glass, and finally, the River Kings able to touch up. Let's see what the penalty is. We're going to get a holding call on Yesmukan Tolapergen. He's going to go to the box, 18 and we're going to get our first penalty kill of the night. Penalty kill was pretty solid for Mississippi last night. They committed nine penalties, only giving up the one goal. Well, Knoxville had that extra man. We'll see how they do tonight. Love to give you the stats on Birmingham, but this is their first game, so they don't have any stats. This is their first power play of their history in the SBHL. Winning another draw is the River Kings, and they send it all the way down where Parks leaves it in the trapezoid for John Ray. John Ray with the drop pass, he gets it over to Keegan Bruce. Keegan Bruce, another guy picked up in that draft. Oh, he rifles a shot high and over the glove of Jared Rutledge. Played by Mississippi defense, high off the glass and back down into the Birmingham Bull zone where it's handled good hustle. Kristaps Bozovic's down low, and that was Derek Sutliff as well. 
Sutliff is able to get it in. He skeets over to the bench for a change while Keegan Bruce works it out for Birmingham. Bruce gets it on over to his partner. That's Maxime Nuskoff. Nuskoff with it is moving it over. He gets it across the blue line, leaves the drop pass for Andy Bathgate. Intercepted there by Dylan Fox. Great footwork to kick it to himself off his feet. But he gets it into the neutral zone. And now they're just playing catch. Blue line to blue line. River Kings to Bulls. River Kings to Bulls. Dylan Fox with it now. He had a shorthander last night. So this is something that you're going to have to keep an eye on if you're Birmingham. Is watch those shorthand opportunities. Mississippi controlled the four check for about two and a half out of three periods last night in total time. We're down to 40 seconds left to go in the penalty to Yesmukan Tolletbergen for holding. So far, no shots on goal registered for either team. That's in the entire game itself, and Birmingham pulls it in off sides. There's Brandon Millen coming in just a hair too far. A couple guys got tied up right on the blue line. Millen couldn't hold. 16.40 left to go here in the first period. No score. 32 seconds left to go on the penalty to Tolletbergen, his first of the season. Mississippi's penalty leader is Pius Rulavicious. He took two penalties last night for a total of four minutes. He's not even ranked in the top five in the SBHL as it was a penalty-ridden night across the league. Birmingham wins the draw and gets it down deep into their zone. That's Maxime Noskov. He's looking for a back pass to his D-pairing partner, but he's not able to get it to him as it skirts out of the zone. Regrouping in the slot in front of their own goaltender is Birmingham. Looking to make a pass, but he fans on it. That was Patrick Harrison. He's got to get it back deep. Good forecheck once again for Mississippi. There's only two seconds left to go on this power play, and Mississippi kills it off. They're at full strength. Good hit by Fozovic right in front of his own bench. He laying the lumber down on Birmingham. So far, no team really has a good momentum swing as we get through this game. But the time has been spent majority in the Mississippi defensive zone. Jared Rutledge yet to be tested in his professional career. And Maverick Parks down there, he looks pretty relaxed as he leans on the crossbar, hasn't seen a shot yet himself. Backhanding it out. Mississippi off the wall, but it's not gonna get down to the goal line. That's not gonna be any icing. That was Jesse Fakini out of Canada. Looking for a pass, intercepted Devin Mantha. He used Rule of Vicious, finds Mantha. They got a two on one if they hurry. Shot saved by Parks. Rebound out in front and hacked that. Gets past the net, left of the cage. Mississippi with a great chance there. Maverick Parks getting his first save of the game. Getting two saves, actually. The first one and the rebound off the pad. Long lead pass, skips over about three different sticks. Parks is going to come out and play it in front of the net. He gets it back to John Ray. John Ray takes a hit from Pius Rule of Vicious. Rula Vicious took one about a minute ago, and he's returning the favor. Mississippi keeps the zone. Pius Rula Vicious seals off a man on the boards to Sutliff. Shot, left pad saved by Maverick Parks. Kicked out in front. Here comes Birmingham. Moving with it now. They move across the blue line. That's Millen. Millen with a backhand shot covered up, and there's Jared Rutledge's first professional save off the blocker as he covers up. 14.39 to go here in the first period. Mississippi zero, Birmingham zero. You're listening to the Mississippi River Kings Hockey Radio Network. This is Ryan Marcuse. You're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Bulbashield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit Bulbashield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Hi, I'm JSU head football coach John Gross. Many families in East Alabama have been affected by Alzheimer's and dementia, including mine. Many of us find ourselves in the role of caregiver without any training, education, or support. There's no cure for Alzheimer's, and the disease kills more people than breast cancer and prostate cancer combined. For more information on Alzheimer's and dementia education and caregiver services, call your local agency on aging at 1-800-AGE-LINE. Now we're back, Mississippi, winning the draw in their own near side defensive zone after the cover by Jared Rutledge, and they break out of the zone. Here comes up the left wing board, shot gloved down by Maverick Parks, very easy. He saw that the whole way. Third save for Maverick Parks, a lot easier than the first two, that's for sure. 
Top D pairing out there for Mississippi. Ralph Grinberg's out of Latvia. He's out there with Matt Harrington. Second line's out. Dylan Fox, the Hummelstown, Pennsylvania native. He's out there with Ryan Marcuse. And yes, we can't call it Bergen. Shot in on goal. He scores! Ralph Grinsberg with the shot. Hits a skate out in front. And Mississippi takes the early lead. One to nothing over Birmingham. 14-22 left to go here in the first period. Ralph Grinberg's with his very first goal in North America, taking a shot just shy of the blue line. It hits off a couple skates and beats Maverick Parks, much like a, a knuckleball would beat a baseball player. And this is goal scored by number Mississippi wins the draw. Derek Sutliff with it now. Looking to filter a pass up to Pius Rula Vicious. He works it through. He's trying to fight off the defenseman for Birmingham, Andrew Darago. Devin Mantha now with it. Skating in the trapezoid. He looks for Richie Coyne, but his pass is intercepted, and we're going to get a stoppage in play. Looks like Birmingham is going to be going to the box. Andrew Darago. He's going to sit for two minutes. We get two minutes. For slashing. Mississippi gonna go on the power play. I don't know if this is something you want to see if you're Birmingham after giving up that goal, now having two minutes to fight off the penalty. See what happens here. Sean Gamage is out there taking the draw. Is Stephen Fee for Birmingham. Swings at it, the puck wasn't dropped. He's going against Devin Mantha, and it's Mantha who wins it. Wins it back to Grinbergs. Grinbergs moving towards the center. He drops it over to Mantha, high top of the circle. Cycling it down, back to Grinsberg out top. Grinbergs over. Harrington wraps it hard around the boards, looking for Manny, Devin Mantha. He's looking for Rula Vicious. Still no shots, but they're working and pulling. Great job here by the Mississippi power play. An errant pass there. John Ray is going to bank it hard off the boards for Birmingham and get it out to center. 1.30 left to go here in the power play. Ralph Grinsberg, he drops it back to Matt Harrington. Long time, long time Mississippi River King in his fifth season with the team. Him and Devin Mantha have been here for what seems like forever. Birmingham's able to win it. They send it all the way down, and it's played by Jared Rutledge in the trapezoid. Good pressure by Nate Mitten down low. He was playing the top of that triangle of that, that square defense, the diamond if you want to call it that. And he's still up there. He's up there with Yo, as a matter of fact, Graham Yo, the rookie. So two rookies. Playing hard here on the PK. It's sent back in by Birmingham as Mississippi seems to be playing with it in their own defensive zone and the neutral zone not able to break over. Here comes Dylan Fox on the near side boards across the red line and the blue. Crossover, he was looking for Ryan Marcuse, but they're going to whistle him down offsides as we move out. 12.32 left to go here in the period. 39 seconds left to go on the slashing penalty to Andrew Darago. Shots in favor of Mississippi, four to one. Not indicative of the play so far. Goaltenders have not really been tested, and you can't really even blame Parks for the goal. It hit off of two or three different skates, and Parks is going to get called for a delay a game after he plays the puck outside of the trapezoid. He was in front of the goal line, but in turning to play a backhand, he crossed over the no-fly zone, and Mississippi looks like they're going to get the extra man go on a five on three for 34 seconds before enjoying a shortened power play of one minute and 26 seconds. Tough luck there for Maverick Parks. He was just trying to make a play behind the goal and in doing so, the puck carried over into the no-go zone. And Mississippi gonna take, try and take advantage of that delay game penalty on the goaltender. 
Devin Mantha gets kicked out of the circle. He'll tell you himself if there's anything that he does not, he wishes a rule he could change is that the centers could be stay in there and not get kicked out. He wins it back to Harrington, and Harrington is going to play catch with Ralph Grinsberg. Harrington back down low to Sutliff. Sutliff up to the near side on Harrington. Harrington and Grinsberg are switched on this power play. And looking for a pass, it sails all the way down onto Jared Rutledge. That was John Ray who handled the pass that was flailed on by Grinsberg. Harrington brings it across the zone and follows up. Remember, Harrington can play forward and defense depending on where Coach Landmesser wants him. So he's a perfect player to have, especially when you're on a five-on-three situation. Shot in on goal. We got one back for Birmingham. So Dara goes out of the box. It's still a five-on-four scenario for the next minute and a half. Falling down is Devin Mantha. Great pressure out in front by Nate Mitten. He was able to push down Mantha, get the puck out of the zone, and force Mississippi to regroup. They have it now across the red line, moving up for Devin Mantha makes a move, looking for a hard pass, a little too hot for Sutliff. Sutliff had to play it off a defender, takes a shot, puck goes high in the air. Devin Mantha gets it back to the point. Richie Coyne with a shot, looking for Marcuse. Centering feed is kicked off the skates of Sutliff, but he couldn't get a stick on it and put it through. Mississippi keeping the zone. Ryan Marcuse trying to play hard on those boards, but he loses it, and it's Craig Simchuk who sends it all the way down into the far corner to be played by Rutledge. Five shots on goal so far for Mississippi. One on the power play. Only 30 seconds left to go on that power play. Moving fast is Dylan Fox into the centering ice area. He's looking into the slot. Tried to leave a dump pass there for Pius Rulavicious, but he couldn't. Backhand pass by Fox. It's covered up by Parks. It's still loose. It comes out. Rulavicious looking for the backhand pass. Shot in off the post. It's laying in the crease, and it's still moving. Finally, we get a whistle. Maverick Parks, that puck came off the crossbar right in the corner in the elbow joint there of the crossbar and the post. Maverick Parks had a look behind him as it was laying in a sea of blue, but he finally is able to cover it up. He's still down. He doesn't look like he's injured. I think he's he was trying to get an explanation from the referee there as he was laying down. 10.38 left to go here in the first period. 10 seconds left to go before uh, Stephen Fee, who is serving the penalty for Maverick Parks, comes out of the box. Mississippi going to look to try and do what they did the last time on their goal, and that's Dylan Fox win it back. It's not Grinsberg who's out there this time. It's Richie Coyne. He's out there with Kristaps Bozovic, another Latvian. Mississippi wins the draw, but in a centering pass, it lands on the stick of Craig Simchuk, who just chips it out to center, and that's enough. That'll do it. Birmingham is able to escape, and on as the moment that Fee stepped back onto the ice, Mississippi ices it. That's good for icing. So 10-24, Birmingham's going to get the offensive zone draw to the right of Jared Rutledge. Andy Bathgate steps in to take the draw against Dylan Fox. And it's Fox who wins it over to the side. And it's banked high off the glass. Mississippi trying to break it out. Pius Rulovich is throwing that body around. He's not a big guy. He's only at 5'11". But you know, when you're 5'11", 216, you're, you're a fire plug. You're short and powerful. And he's throwing that body around today. Backhand pass. This is the first time we've really seen the third line in for Mississippi, and that's Arthur Drindrosic. Drindrosic, the pat, drop pass shot just wide. Jordan Carvalho looking to go blocker side, and it goes wide. All these special teams haven't allowed that third line to get in. Centering pass. Jesse Facchini, he loses control of it right in the slot, but here comes Birmingham out the other way. Pestered in front, Richie Coyne. He just dumps it down. That's going to be icing as we get the wave of the glove from Maverick Park saying, hey, that was icing. 9.39 left to go here in the first period. River Kings won, Bulls nothing. You're listening to River Kings Hockey on the Mississippi River Kings Hockey Radio Network. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and 
Brand Barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue. You can taste the difference. Com. River Kings Hockey, fast, affordable, fun. And we're back. Mississippi loses the draw. It's Birmingham that's able to keep the zone after the icing. Andy Bathgate backhands a pass. He's looking down low. Centering pass off the pads. It kicks out into the slot. Jared Rutledge throwing that pillow down is able to get that puck out. Sent down, and again, we're going to get a stoppage. And another ice. A lot of chirping. You can hear it from up here, as a matter of fact. Robbie Hall, Vital Cote, they're the defensive pairing. They're going to get a change here. Looks like Coyne's going to come back out with Kristaps Bozovic. Bathgate with Keegan Bruce. They're flanked on the other side by Patrick Harrison. Bathgate taking the draw. He gets kicked out. It's going to be Patrick Harrison who's going to slide in. Harrison with it now. He gets it after it was tied up. Gets taken down from behind by Jordan Carvalho. No call here. Arm stays down. Trying to get it over to Artur Drozic. Shot in. Hits an elbow and skirts down just past the leg of Jared Rutledge and out. Birmingham with it now. The Bulls playing it over. Trying to bank it high off. Looking for Andy Bathgate. He gets a backhand pass to Bruce. Bruce with a quality chance and swallowed up in the leg pads by Jared Rutledge. 8.50 to go here in the first period. Ten shots on goal for Mississippi. Three for the Bulls. Last night, similar scenario as we went throughout the game. Considerably, the River Kings were out shooting the Ice Bears considerably for much of the game. They ended up with a total of ten shots more on the game, but it was still close. It was only a four to three final. Getting what do we get? We're getting a whistle and getting kicked out of the draw. I didn't even see him put down. It was Brandon Millen. I didn't even see him throw down, and he got kicked out. He gets swapped out for Alexander Tallin. We're not going to get icing here. It does wrap all the way down. Doesn't reach the goal line anyway, but it hit a couple skates on the way. Devin Mantha playing a crushing hit to keep it in the zone. Centering pass and hitting it just wide of the cage is Derek Sutliff. Sutliff gets the rebound off a pass, trying to move it through. Birmingham doing a good job as they able to one hand push it through. That's Darius Cole who pushes it through the zone. Pius Rulavicius knocks it with the tip of his stick and it's sent all the way down. Moving hard is Sean Gamage, trying to work this out. He chips it up forward, looking for Millen, but Millen was getting a uh, change there. And it goes all the way down in on Brandon Parks and covered up. 8.07 left to go in the first period. River Kings won, Bulls nothing. Be sure to pick up your River Kings friends and family four packs for the next specialized friends and family night. Four tickets, four hats, a voucher good for a value meal at Chick-fil-A in South Haven. Only 36 bucks. Give a call to the River Kings front office at 662-342-1755. Get your friends and family four pack today. Next friends and family four pack night will be on military night, November 18th. Birmingham wins the draw. Stephen Feed gives a dump and chase. He's going after it hard. He takes Grinbergs into the wall out to the point, and it's intercepted by Mississippi. Here they come. They've got numbers. They've got three, but so does Birmingham. It's a three on three. Stopping hard is Marcuse, throwing a centering into the slot, but he's not able to connect down low. That was Beck Wukan Tolabergen. So Beck Wukan getting some action tonight after not seeing much last night. Pass out in front. Aaron pass shot kicked away. Good sliding block by Matt Harrington, but it's still loose in the circle. Mississippi finally gets one high off the glass and over. Birmingham playing with it now in the neutral zone, backhanding it up. Intercepted by the River Kings. Jordan Carvalho couldn't play it forward. He had to dump it in, otherwise he would have been offsides. And Birmingham's able to regain it. They go hard off the wall and negating the icing. It doesn't reach the red line before Richie Coyne's got to play it. He finds Drindrojic, gets it back to the point, intercepted by the Bulls and deep back in. Good hit down low by Nate Mitten. He puts on the smackdown on Chris Tapps Bozovic. Bozovic and Mitten still fighting there right into the corner boards. Keegan Bruce gets plastered to the glass by Jordan Carvalho. 
Bruce looking for that centering pass, but it's sticked away. Jared Rutledge seeing that pass all day. Good keep of the zone. No, they're going to blow it down. Thought he had kept the zone there, but it's going to come in off sides on the stick of Phil Tessarero. 6.36 left to go here in the first period. River Kings holding that one to nothing lead over the Bulls. Shot total still 10 to four. So we've just seen a lot of back and forth action here tonight. First goal of his North American career for Ralph Scrinberg's earlier in this period. He's the one that gave Mississippi the one nothing advantage. Face off near the Mississippi blue line. They win it back. And that's Vital Cote. Vital up looking for Derek Sutliff. Sutliff wasn't able to handle the pass. And it's hit from Darius Cole back to his defenseman, Phil Tessarero. Tessarero looking for a pass just a little bit too far out of his, in front of his intended opponent. And here comes Mississippi. Derek Sutliff, good block by Tessarero, dropping down on one knee. Looks like we're going to get a delayed call here. Tessarero touches up. Birmingham going to the box for two minutes. Looked like a high stick on the initial call. I'll tell you, I'll get it in this just a second. And it looks like Sean Gamage going to the box. Nope, Tallinn. Tallinn with a high stick. Mississippi's going to go on their third power play of the day, albeit the first one was about a minute and a half. It was a minute and 26 seconds to be exact. Devin Manta steps in, he wins the draw back. Finds Chris Tapps, Bozovic. Bozovic's over to Grinberg. So you got both Latvians anchoring the blue line. Down low on the cycle for Pius Rulavicius, the Lithuanian. Over to Devin Manta, he's American, he's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Shot in on block, off the blocker for Maverick Parks and swatted out of the air by Derek Sutliff. Good save by Maverick Parks with the pillow. It's kicked up and into the neutral zone. Mississippi's going to retreat. Mantha with it now. Looking for a pass, would have been called off sides, but it's kicked out into the neutral zone by Birmingham. 125 left to go here in the period. Five to, or excuse me, five and a half left to go in the period. 118 left to go in the power play. Matt Harrington with it. Behind the goal in the trapezoid, trying to set everything up as Mississippi gets a change. Skating up forward with it, finds Richie Coyne. Richie Coyne gets it over and it's blocked down. Good hit down in front by Bechukan Tolebergen. That's sent in all the way down in the air, maybe about eight inches off the ice on Jared Rutledge. Rutledge stops it, works it out. 50 seconds left to go on this power play. Here comes Richie Coyne using a little bit of offensive, looking for a centering pass. It's sticked down right off the blade of Birmingham, and here they go the other way. Flipped in and kicked away off the stick. Sent up high into the glass, but they're able to keep the zone. Mississippi retreats. Ryan Marcuse trying to work around. He looks for Beck Hukan Tolebergen using him as a screen. Marcuse centering pass right across the goal line. He finds Harrington. Harrington off his skate is Fee. And it's over out in front from the blue line. Marcuse looks for a little bit of a toe drag. He After he misses the pass to himself, he finds Tolepbergen who gets it to the point. Vital Cote with a shot, skirts through the blue just wide. Mississippi regaining and finally getting some possession here. But right as they do, out of the box comes Alexander Tolene, and Birmingham is full. 4.04 left to go here in the period. Mississippi won, Birmingham nothing. Handling it now, Robbie Hall. He chips it up forward. He was looking, looking to make a play to Artur Jandrosnik off the glass, but it lands in the hands of the Bulls. And that's Keegan Bruce. Bruce is going to flip it forward and giving chase Andy Bathgate. Bathgate is pestered there by Jordan Carvalho, who walks away with the puck, looking for a centering pass, but it's kept in by Birmingham. Crazy turnover there. Got, got, got to limit those turnovers. Vital Cote moving up from the circle. Laser pass right on the stick of Robbie Hall. These two came over together, if you want to call it that way. Same day from the Evansville Thunderbolts. Mississippi moving in, Devin Mantha. He finds Derek Sutliff. Sutliff wrapping it around the, hard around the boards. Laying the body, both Mantha, rule of vicious, this line tough. 
2.57 left to go here in the first period. Mississippi won, Birmingham nothing. CallTheShield.com is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Nurses who have an MSN degree earn significantly more than with a BSN alone. You know what that means? Upgrades. I'm talking from this to this. From this to this. A little less this and a little more this. Get started at JSU. Everyone knows high quality nurses are in high demand, but did you ever stop to think who's going to teach them? Because those people are going to be in super high demand. Earn your MSN at JSU and be one of the few who impacts the many. back to coin blocked right out in front hits his own man PU through Lavicious. Lavicious is going to give chase into the corner boards but it's backhanded out by Fee. Intercepted by Mantha on the clearing attempt by Fee. Mantha playing strong on the boards. Him and PU through Lavicious. that's a good combination when you want to talk about strength. Kicking it back up top. Kristaps Pozvix hits a stick out in front deflects high and up into the glass. Mississippi moving strong on the boards. Here comes Simchuk. They backhanded out. He was looking for his cross ice partner, Maxim Noskov from Russia. Noskov is giving chase on the boards. 2.15 left to go. Mississippi won, Birmingham nothing. If you're just rejoining us, we apologize for the power failure. They had a little bit of a power failure there kicking us offline, but we are back. Jared Rutledge plays it in the triangle back behind. He leaves it there for Matt Harrington. Harrington getting pestered by Andy Bathgate, who comes in and just intercepts the puck, leaving it for Keegan Bruce. Great forecheck there by Birmingham as we get under the two minute mark here in the first period. Moving forward, Matt Harrington looking for a long lead pass right at the red line by Marcuse, but he loses an edge and is able to get the puck back. Here comes Mississippi. Marcuse shot way high and wide, high off the glass. It's wrapping around, giving the opportunity to Birmingham with numbers. Good defensive play by Ralph Grinsberg, who's able to knock that down. Grinsberg's playing a very strong game so far, offensively and defensively, with that goal earlier in the first period. John Ray banks it backwards. He gets it back into the zone, looking for Nate Mitten. Mitten's going to send it all the way back to Ray, who's going to play it in his own defensive zone, and then move forward. John Ray looking up front. He finds Darius Cole. Cole working forward. But it's Harrington who's able to win it, and they send it back behind the goal. <laughs> Ralph Grinberg sends it all the way down. Not, they're going to wave off the icing. It's not going to get there. Artur Jandrozic giving good chase on the play. Bikini in there as well. Vital Cote touches up. We get a stoppage in play. We're going to get a penalty here. Mississippi touched it last when we got the whistle. Two of the referees out there, they are uh, conferring and talking about it. Stephen Hoshaw, former Mississippi River King, out there as one of the linesmen tonight. He's out there with Trent Williams and Jeff Parker. Jeff Parker, the lead referee. They're over on the bench. They're talking to Jesse Facchini, and they're talking to Coach Derek Lamesser. And Coach is flipping forward. I don't know what they're saying here. The penalty box doors are open, and Facchini, is it Facchini or is that? No, that's Beckham Contoleberg, and he's going to come forward and serve the penalty. I'll let you know what that is in just a second once we get that updated here on the scoreboard. So with 47.2 seconds, Mississippi, we're going to have a two-minute penalty here to kill off. 
stepping in his back gate. He wins it back to Ray. Ray circling inside that faceoff circle, gets it down below the goal line. Looking for a centering pass, but it's kicked right back to him. He dumps it down low. Keegan Bruce lays a good hit on in the corner, and it's sent out by Mississippi past the far blue line, giving chase Derek Sutliff. He's chasing after Sean Gamage, who backhands it around the boards to John Ray. Now Ray and Gamage just going to play a little bit of catch. Here comes Gamage right across the slot. He drops it for Ray, who gets the pass out to Andy Bathgate. Bathgate over to Bruce. Bruce trying to make a pass to himself, and a great heads-up play by Richie Coyne, able to intercept it and get it back out to the neutral zone. Bathgate leaving a drop pass for Bruce on the near side wall. Getting through is Ray. Ray takes a shot. It skirts across the blue, and a great defensive play right as the whistle blows by Derek Sutliff, who's able to kick the loose puck into the corner. And Mississippi's going to take a lead to the locker room. 1-0 over the Bulls. 1-13 yet still to go here in the power play for Birmingham. Mississippi 1, Bulls nothing. You're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Shield.com is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. By 2020, the U.S. will need 80% of nurses to have a BSN degree. Earn yours in just one year. That's like four haircuts, three oil changes, two dentist checkups, and one Halloween costume away. Get started at JSU. Everyone knows high quality nurses are in high demand, but did you ever stop to think who's going to teach them? Because those people are going to be in super high demand. Earn your MSN at JSU and be one of the few who impacts the many. Calltheshield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems. APS shields your home from termite infestation, unwanted pests, mold and water intrusion, sagging floors, and unhealthy lawns. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. That's calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the difference. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Welcome back to South Haven, Mississippi, where your Birmingham Bulls are back. General partner, Art Clarkson. Art, it's been 16 years since the, the, the Birmingham Bulls have been in town. Sure. Um, there was a lot of support back then. Um, what are you looking at now as far as support? What are you seeing from the community? Uh, uh, with support behind the Birmingham Bulls? Well, I, you know, I don't look for support. I look to become an integral part of the community like we were in the 90s uh, when we had the Barons in the uh, 80s. And uh, 
You know, it's, it's interesting. I, I don't like the word support. I love the people come out and participate in our product, and we participate with them, form partnerships, be com totally community involved. And uh, with the hockey players, they, they love it. We've already been to the Children's Hospital. We go, we go everywhere. And the people, that, as we move toward the season and, and they get to learn these players, you will find that uh, people want to come to different things uh, that we go to. You, you follow? I mean, it's... It's a, we're, we're, hockey players are really an interesting group of guys. They want to be out in the community. You know, when you talk about Birmingham, Alabama, you talk about the South, you generally don't think about hockey. It's usually football, football, football. But you're seeing this growing um, excitement about hockey in the South. Well, it's a lot, there's a lot of ingredients involved there. Back in the 90s, we were drawing terrific downtown. We were drawing crowds as big as 15,000 down there. You know, and uh, but it was like an island down there. There was nothing around us. What's happened? The evolution in the last 20 years is, and it's it's come with youth hockey. We have a, a Birmingham Bulls youth traveling team here. We have PHDA, a youth hockey here. We have men's hockey. We, you know, it, it just goes right down to the line. And uh, I, I wish we had more places that have ice like this. But these people here are absolutely critical. If you look at the pro shop behind you, which everybody can't watch right now, but uh, uh, the the the, uh, the interest in hockey is great. And I'll tell you this right now: uh, what uh, you know, I, the timing was perfect for us because here's the Predators having this run to the Stanley Cup, right? And uh, we we jumped on that bandwagon because uh, I mean, I, the number one team in Nashville is not the Tennessee Titans, it is the Nashville Predators. And don't let anybody kid you on that. That place is bonkers, and we hope to create what they've got up there too. And in the future, I always see Birmingham uh, being able to participate and, and, and uh, be involved with one major league sport. And to me, if we get the right facilities, it's gonna be the NHL. If they can do it in Nashville, we can do it here. Most people probably don't realize, but how far back does the Birmingham Bulls go? The Birmingham Bulls, the first year was 1976 or 77 in the Old World Hockey Association. And uh, it was moderately successful. Uh, they had some, you know, a good, a good teams. Uh, but when the uh, NHL merged with the WHA, unfortunately, uh, Birmingham was odd man out. So, and then we came along in 92 in the East Coast Hockey League. We were from 92 to 90, I was there till 98. And I sold a team and the people who bought it for me ran it right into the ground. And uh, the timing, the timing uh, for the last 16 years hasn't been right, okay? Now it's right. The people of Pelham, they're, they're committed to, for what did, making this building a uh, professional hockey uh, venue. And uh, we're going. That's what we're going to do. And we're we're going to uh, we're going to really do well in the community. But uh, we have to do a lot of hard work on our end to create the atmosphere. And we're going to do it. Let me tell you something. Uh, I worked with uh, ACN before, back in the 90s, where we televised games back to Birmingham, and we really established that relationship. And uh, it, I tell you right now, this game is going to be on TV, on uh, Charter 80 or uh, Alabama Cable Network. You can watch the game a, a Saturday night, and uh, it'll, it'll give a, a taste of what's coming. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Opportunity lies before me. I can hear it calling. I'm moving forward. I want a place that moves with me. A place to uncover what lies within. To capture a sense of wonder. And discover my true potential. Ability hides in darkness. Waiting for a light to draw it out. 
I seek knowledge I can depend on. Tangible and illuminated. Led by experienced minds. I want to go where I can dwell among friends. Where relationships are lifelong and dedication transcends graduation. Support and aid is a passion. I want to go where I am more than a number, where mentors know me by name. I want to go where I can expand my way of thinking, and creativity is second nature. I, I want to go where a great challenge means greater reward. I want to go where my voice can be heard. I want to go where I will be accepted. Calltheshield.com is the solution to unwanted pests mosquito control and turf management. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Welcome back to the Lander Center here in South Haven, Mississippi, where the Birmingham Bulls are taking on the Mississippi River Kings. Earlier this week, we caught up with head coach Jamie Hicks to talk about the return of the Bulls and the team. Well, you know, being part of the resurgence of uh, the Bulls is, you know, obviously a great uh, privilege for myself to be come back and uh, lead this team in, into the next uh, chapter of hockey down here. And, um, you know, we have a great bunch of kids down here working hard, and uh, we're trying to take that energy into the season. Uh, how many years you've been associated with hockey? Oh. You know, we're Canadian, you know, uh, we start when we're three years old and, uh, you know, you just kind of build on it. But, uh, you know, everyone takes a different path to be here, and uh, but we're all here for the same reason, to bring a championship to Birmingham. Where are you originally from? Uh, Peterborough, Ontario. Peterborough, Ontario. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a long way away, but um, being familiar with this area from playing here back in the 90s, uh, can't be any, any happier being back. Are you starting to see a, you know, the, the, the growth in hockey down south has been really prevalent. You know, you've got the National Predators, you've got several teams in and around Atlanta, but especially Birmingham area and the Pelham area, you've just seen this huge just insurgence of hockey. Um, what, what all are you seeing from that? Well, obviously you're, you're seeing players being developed all throughout the U.S. now, you know, two years ago, a uh, player from Phoenix, Arizona was drafted first overall in Austin Matthews. So and that's a direct affiliation with uh, uh, Phoenix having an NHL team. So um, not only are we here to uh, play hockey, but the guys here will be helping out with the youth as much as they can and hopefully, uh, you know, turn over a couple good players along the way and just help build hockey. How's the team looking right now? Well, you know, we're a first year team, but the energy we have and the team camaraderie we have, uh, I'm really happy with. You know, we're still a team that's growing. Um, you know, we, we want to be as good as fast as we can without hurting the uh, foundation and um, sometimes you have to uh, take it slowly a little bit but um, I can't be any happier with the energy that we have right now. Uh, how many long-time veterans do you have on the team? What's, what's probably the oldest, oldest guy that you have? Well, you know, we have uh, one player uh, that has veteran status in this league. Uh, we still have two spots open. Uh, we're going to give the young kids uh, their opportunity to, to kind of get used to the league. And if we feel that uh, we need some veterans to kind of help us through the next uh, step to uh, be, being a better club, we will. But, um, you know, it's up to the kids whether they can handle, uh, handle it right now. But uh, we have three or four guys that have been in the league a long time. We have a great leadership group uh, with our captains and two A's. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see how the young guys uh, produce. You know, a lot of people, when they think about hockey, especially maybe people down south, they may think about uh, the movie Slapstick and, and the, the, the brothers that used to be the bruisers out there. Mm -hmm. in, in, in hockey, do you still have that, or has it become more of a precision-based uh, 
I guess, accurate sport than just having bruisers? Well, obviously hockey's a progress where it's bigger, faster, stronger, like every other sport. So, um, you know, if you play hockey the way it's supposed to be played, um, eventually there's going to be a tussle here and there. Um, but the skill is so good right now, you can't afford that uh, to happen all the time like back in the day. So um, we, have a, we have a good mix of all that sort of stuff right now. And um, after the first couple weekends, we'll know where we have to improve. And um, hopefully in that November uh, third game, uh, we're looking forward to a big crowd at home and open up the Pellet uh, Civic Center. Speed looking good? Speed's been great. I'm very happy with that. Uh, you, you know, we have big forwards that can skate. Um, you know, uh, whenever you have young uh, players playing in pro hockey for the first time, it's just getting over those jitters and um, hitting the back of the net a couple times to really get comfortable. So, uh, like I said before, we're, we're happy where we are. Um, you know, we know we have a lot of work to do, and uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to take that challenge uh, head on. You got any Alabama boys playing today? Not yet, but you know that's it's all it's all great. Uh, I've been here uh, two months and I've been following uh, you know some Alabama players down here, seeing how they're doing and stuff like that. But you know that all comes with, with time, and uh, um, you know we have we have players from all over the world, right from Russia to uh, Vancouver to uh, all over the U.S. So um, we're a d diverse uh, team from all over the place, and uh, we're trying to gel as quick as we can. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems. APS shields your home from termite infestation, unwanted pests, mold and water intrusion, sagging floors, and unhealthy lawns. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. That's CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the difference. As the friendliest campus in the South, Jacksonville State University is known for its welcoming and hospitable culture. This reputation, combined with its mission to provide world-class customer service, makes JSU the ideal venue for your next conference or special event. Located in the lovely foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, midway between Atlanta and Birmingham off Interstate 20, the small Alabama University offers a picturesque but convenient setting for meetings, camps, and conferences. JSU's conference service team serves as a one-stop shop for coordinating all aspects of your event, from lodging to meals and everything in between, making planning and communication easy for you. These dedicated conference service professionals are available year-round to assist you in planning your event. Classrooms and computer labs are available in a variety of sizes, as well as conference rooms and theater-style settings. Gymnasiums, field space, and auditorium options are also available to accommodate larger groups. The luxurious Gamecock suites serve as the perfect venue for conferences or receptions and come with a stunning view overlooking Burgess Snow football field and the mountains beyond. Nine on-campus residence halls, including the newly renovated Sparkman Hall, offer both traditional and suite-style lodging for guests. All buildings are air-conditioned and offer access to Wi-Fi, laundry, cable, and other amenities for your comfort. Convenient on-campus dining can be arranged for your group in Jack Hopper Dining Hall, where you'll find delicious meal options to satisfy each individual appetite. Full-service catering options are also available. Fitness and recreation facilities are also accessible to summer guests, including pool and gym. So whether you're planning a professional conference, staff retreat, or summer sports camp, JSU Conference Services invites you to be our guest and host your next gathering on the friendliest campus in the South. CallTheShield.com is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home.
coming through. But yes, we will be broadcasting every game home and away. I will be traveling with the team. So next week, our next game, that brings me to a good point. Our next game is going to be on 1027. We are at Pensacola. We take on the Ice Flyers. I will be with the team for that game, and we'll be broadcasting it right here on riverkings.com slash listen live. Four seconds tick off. Mississippi's going to send their guys out. It's Grinbergs. What else? He's out on defense with Matt Harrington. The other guys, they're starting three guys. Devin Manta, he's out there with Derek Sutliff. And, of course, Bekukon Tolabergen, he's sitting in the box serving that bench minor of too many men. One minute and 13 seconds on the power play clock. It's Andy Bathgate. He's out there with number 17, Maxim Noskov, and he gets it to Noskov. Noskov off the draw, brings it into the zone, but he lost control of it, and Mississippi plays it all the way back down. We are underway. Ten seconds already have elapsed in the second period. Playing it back behind the trapezoid and intercepted by Devin Mantha. Moving it into the corner, gets strong-armed off it and moving it forward. That's John Ray. John Ray comes out of the trapezoid right next to Maverick Parks and moves it forward. He crosses over the red line and sends it all the way down. Wrapping it all the way around the boards, looking for Bathgate. Bathgate kicks it up to Noskov, but Noskov's not able to get everything on it, and it's sent out by the defense for Mississippi. 19.20 left to go. 32 seconds on that power play. Here comes Noskov up the right wing's boards. He finds Keegan Bruce. Keegan Bruce up the far side. Gets it back to Ray. Gets it back down to Noskov. Noskov circling, circling, looking to his point. Nothing. Now he's just got time. He's looking for space, but he loses it. Intercepted by Devin Mantha. That just looked like it was butter. He just lost it. He couldn't hold on to it. It slipped right off his stick and sent all the way back down. Five seconds. Time for maybe half a rush. John Ray is going to throw the brakes on, though, and that'll do it. Mississippi is going to kill off the penalty and stay perfect on the night. Both teams perfect. Moving forward. Shot in, and Jared Rutledge is going to hold it and squeeze. 18.34 to go in the second period as we move our way through. Mississippi with 11 shots on goal and only one shot coming in on goal on that power play as we get started. Face-off draw going to go to the right of Rutledge as he closed that up into his chest. Taking it is Dylan Fox. Dylan Fox, the primary and only assist on the goal. Sent down low. Birmingham trying to backhand slap it, but it goes up into the first row of seats. That was fade for Birmingham. He was trying to just kind of throw his stick at it while turning away, but it meets two sticks and hops up and over the boards. Face-off draw coming directly in front of me. That right center point just outside Mississippi Blue Line. Dylan Fox, he's out there. Simchuk is out there as well on the other side for Birmingham. He gets it and sends it all the way in. It gets past Rutledge, who was trying to play it off the wall, and it's regained by Birmingham. Intercepted by Marcuse, and he's moving it forward. Marcuse is going to sling this thing high off the glass, and it's going to stay in. Hopping over a stick, but handled by Stephen Fee. Fee backhands out to Fade. Fade looking for Simchuk, who falls down trying to handle the pass. And he gets met immediately by Yesmukhan Tolopergen. A little bit less physicality now than what we saw earlier in the first period. There were guys throwing their bodies around recklessly and relentlessly. Long lead pass off the stick of Millen and sent back in. There's two Millens on the team for Birmingham. One spelled M-I-L-L-O-N, the other Brandon Millen, I-N, on the end. So that kind of makes my job a little bit easier because regardless of how they're spelled, they're said the exact same way. And it's this Millen who's going to get a back, looking for a backhand pass, but sent high over his head, and it's Alexander Talin who sends it back down. Centering pass out in front, just wide of the net. Great job by Birmingham getting a centering pass. It's intercepted by Robbie Hall on defense for Mississippi and then banked off the wall. Here comes Mississippi, two on one if they hurry. Taking a shot, it's blocked off the blocker. That was handled by Jordan Carvalho, who had the pass. He was up there with Arturz Drendroznik, who was out there last night with the goal. He had a great goal last night as he was falling to his knees, got a laser of a shot off to beat the goaltender blocker side. Mississippi with it now. Hits a stick and up and over, and it hits the Kingtron. 
far side with 16.52 left to go here in the second period. We got the, uh, we got Mitten out there. Nate Mitten's out there now for Birmingham. He's out there with Sean Gamage, and it's Mitten that's circling around. Nope, he's not going to take the draw. Looked like he might have for half a second, but he's going to go take his normal spot on the right wing. Devin Mantha wins the faceoff back, and it's handled there by Grinsberg. Grinberg's down low, and it's handled by Mississippi. They're trying and working those boards, but chipped out. Birmingham moving the other way. That's Nate Mitten. He's trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Harrington. He takes a shot, and it skirts wide of the goal. Not even in a save attempt there. Needed to be made by Jared Rutledge. Turnaround shot by Keegan Bruce as he sends that all the way down into the trapezoid, and it's played by Mississippi. Pius Rula Vicious. Rula Vicious up toe kick by Mantha, but he's not able to regain it on his stick, and it's intercepted by Birmingham. Good forecheck here by Dil, uh, Derek Sutliff. He's able to tie him up. Him and Pius Rula Vicious putting both bodies on Ray and a turnaround shot by Sutliff high off a stick and into the safety netting. 16.07 left to go here in the period. Mississippi one, Birmingham nothing. Chris stapps he's the first one getting set here. He's the first one getting set at the face-off circle. He's out there with Richie Coyne. Sometimes you'll see Bozovic's out there with his Latvian partner, Ralph Grinberg's, but not tonight. It's Richie Coyne. Richie Coyne, I've been talking to him a little bit. You know, he did say it'll take a little bit of time getting used to his new defense pairings because last year he spent 70% of his time was with Mike Grace. You know, the other 30% of the time was Sam Higgins, so it's going to take a little bit of time for him to, to get used to a new D pair but Coach Landmaster did a great job bringing in some of the newer talent and looking all over the globe. We've got players from Kazakhstan, Belarus, Lithuania, all over. You know, and of course, we already talked about the Latvian guys. So a, a great job by Coach Landmaster bringing in some foreign talent to help increase the speed. If there's one thing about that international game, it's a much faster game. And not I don't want to say it's not quite as powerful, but it's much quicker. It's a little bit different of a style of play as he tries to adapt it. Mississippi wins the draw, but it gets all the way back into their own zone. And on the stick of Ryan Marcuse. Marcuse gets it slapped away, but it lands on the stick of Dylan Fox, who does a wide turning circle looking for a centering pass that goes through everybody and kicks down into the corner. Here comes Birmingham, a backhand chip by Phil Tessereo is intercepted by Mississippi, and they dump in and clear. Sent all the way back down. Tessereo hard off of wrapping boards, but Simchuk can't handle it and wrap back around. Moving forward, Dylan Fox intercepted. Simchuk throwing his body at the wall, but it gets back to Bozovic. Bozovic, as that puck rolls off his stick, that goes way wide. He gets it right back on the near side boards. The next shot, way wide again, this time to the other side of the cage. Robbie Hall pinching as he comes on. And his partner, Vital Cote, just getting the change for Bozovic. Marcuz with it on the far side boards. It hits a stick and banks off the glass behind the goaltender, Maverick Parks. Hall has it now, near side point. Shot hits Stephen Fee, banks out in front, laying out in front, and a good save by Maverick Parks as that bounced off a couple guys. He was in the butterfly and kicked it away with the pillows. Birmingham's able to clear the zone. Not enough mustard on it to get to the goal line, so icing waved off. River Kings will settle back in the trapezoid. That's Vital Cote as he gets his troops ready to go. The alignment set. He looks for a pass, but it's intercepted. Bank was just too far for Robbie. That was Robbie Hall, and it's coming in the other way. Alexander Tallin. Tallin shot up off a stick and into the safety netting. 14-19 left to go here in the first period. Mississippi hanging on to that one goal lead. It's Mississippi one, Birmingham nothing. You're listening to River Kings Hockey on the Mississippi River Kings Hockey Radio Network. BulbaShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. 
Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is River Kings goalie Jared Rutledge. You're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. And Mississippi wins the draw. They get it in, but they lose control. Shot in on goal from the Bulls. Goes high and wide over the glove of Jared Rutledge. That was a shot that came by Nate Mitten in the high slot. Mitten down low trying to fight. He's able to get it back out to the point. Shot in on goal from Harrison. And Harrison playing that far side point. Mississippi with a long lead pass. Going to bank off the wall and go all the way down. Here comes Jordan Carvalho smelling out that pass. He intercepts it and keeps it in the zone. Leaves for Artur Drindrosnik. Drindrosnik from his knees gets a pass out to the point. Grinberg's with it now. He gets it back to Drindrosnik. Excuse me, that was Derek Sutliff. Sutliff turnaround shot hits off a skate and is kicked back out. Drindrosnik trying to keep the zone, but Birmingham moving the other way. Bathgate with it, winds it around. Rutledge can't handle it, and it's Nate Mitten who plays it back. Nate Mitten down there. Andy Bathgate slamming into the wall on his own to try and stop that clear from going around, and I think he did. It lands on the stick of John Ray, who takes a shot that skates into the corner. And here comes Mississippi. Matt Harrington throwing on the brakes, letting everybody go past him so he can get a little bit more space. Ralph Grinsberg with a pass. It hits a skate and sends all the way down on Maverick Parks, who covers up with the glove. 13.02 left to go here in the first period. Shots on goal starting to level out a little bit here. Mississippi with 13. Birmingham with nine as we sit almost at the halfway point of the game. We got about another three minutes and we'll be at that halfway point. 13.02 left to go. Near side draw to the right of Maverick Parks. His blocker side as you're looking at him. It's Devin Manthu's going to skate in. He's going to take this draw and he's going to lose the draw. It's going to be Stephen Fee who wins it back to John Ray, the defender, who wraps it around. Trying to get it out. Mississippi intercepting. They're getting in those passing lanes and they're getting in the clearing lanes quite well so far tonight. Backhanded around the other side. Here comes Devin Mantha. Mantha, he's playing it back to Coyne, his defender, who's just going to circle, settle it up behind Rutledge, and then move out. Coyne leaves the drop pass to Rule of Vicious. Rule of Vicious coming hard along the boards. He passes across, but it's intercepted by Stephen Fee. There was about two bulls that were there, and Fee almost had a long lead pass to Craig Simchuk, but it's too far for him. Simchuk with a centering pass. Great save. John Ray coming in from the point. He's able to put a point-blank shot in on Jared Rutledge, who kicks it away with the blocker. Still in the offensive zone for Birmingham. Here comes Chris Tapps Bozovic. Bozovic banks it off the wall and all the way down. Which he coined, backhands to Rula Vicious. Rula Vicious plays it off his skate. He gets it back to Coyne in the trapezoid. Coyne stopping short, but he's getting played very hard along the boards by Brandon Millen. Millen goes down face first, but laying into Rula Vicious along the wall. Darius Cole, he hit him good. But Rula Vicious comes out, and he comes out with Sutliff, and Sutliff has speed. He's trying to move around Phil Tessarero, but has to stop right there. Marcuse played it back in. Mississippi trying to avoid another too many men call, so they just played it back in instead of trying to organize a rush tight near their bench. Here comes Fade. Fade gets upended by Robbie Hall, who loses his helmet in the process, and here comes Mississippi. They had a two-man break, but it's offsides. 11.21 to go here in the second period. Mississippi won, Birmingham nothing. Far side draw in the neutral zone. It's won by Dylan Fox, but ultimately lands in the hands of the Bulls. Playing around with it are the defensemen. That's Patrick Harrison. Patrick Harrison gets it out to the neutral zone. Robbie Hall's going to take control and move it forward. Here comes Chris Tapps Bozovic. He plays it forward. And it's intercepted and moving the other way. We got two more defensemen as we get a quick line change. Hall and Cote are out there on defense. Hall leaves it for Ryan Marcuse. Marcuse gets upended by Nate Mitten right there. The puck didn't go anywhere, though. It stayed. Mitten gets it off the feed and breaks into the zone. 
Tur turning and circling. He's going to wrap it down along the boards. Finds Keegan Bruce on the outside of the trapezoid. Bruce coming near side, banking it off the wall. Gets it to a point. That's Harrison. Harrison with a shot. Going to sail up and over about 10 feet off the cage. And Mississippi looking for an out. Pass off the glove of Keegan Bruce. And here comes Mississippi. Three on two if they hurry. Dylan Fox with a shot off the glove and goes through. Maverick Parks got just enough of that to get it to go wide. But Mississippi keeps it in the zone. Marcuse trying to make a move, but it's intercepted. Long lead pass, and Simchuk was there, but he can't hang on to it as it goes down. Called for icing with 10.07 left to go in the second period. The River Kings want to help you celebrate your birthday with several packages available. There's great perks like a team signed card. You can go down to the High Five Tunnel. Plus, there's all sorts of goodies. So if you want to check out how you can celebrate your birthday with the River Kings, visit riverkings.com slash birthday. Matt Harrington with it off the draw. He gets it down low, trying to cycle it in a backhand pass by Jesse Facchini. He was looking for Harrington to keep following it up, but Harrington had to get back and cover his D point. Birmingham chopping it all the way down. Not going to be icing. It's not going to have enough on it. Rouse Grinberg's going to take it from there. Grinberg's gets a pass over to Harrington, crossing the near side blue line across the red line. Not able to bring it in cleanly, and they're offsides. Tried to make a move around a guy, but not enough. 9.37 left to go here in the second period. River Kings one, Bulls nothing. You're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the difference. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. You listen to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. As the River Kings get set to take the faceoff, Superhero night here at Landers Bank, or excuse me, Planners Bank at Landers Ice. And, you know, we just heard the Wonder Woman theme song. It got me thinking, I wonder who's going to be the superhero here tonight. Is it going to be someone wearing gold or is it going to be someone wearing black? Right now it stands to be Ralph Grinsberg who gets it in all the way off the wall. Fighting down there, Jesse Facchini. Facchini back out to Archer Drendrosnik who takes a shot. He gets it high up and over the goal post. No save needed to be made there by Maverick Parks. Chris Stapps Bozovic's out there on defense now as Fakini's going to get a change. And we're going to see something happen. Coiner plays it to Bozovic on as he gets pressured. Good forecheck here by Birmingham. They've been playing very strong on the forecheck since about, I'd say, halfway through the first period as it comes in off sides by Drindrojic. 9.01 left to go here in the first period. So many theme nights to announce as we come come back home after the Pensacola night from Titanic night we'll have on October, or excuse me, November 11th. We go back on the road November 10th and 11th. Uh, excuse me, it's 11-3 versus Macon. That's going to be Titanic night, the 3rd of November. Then we go on the road November 10th and November 11th for back-to-back -back games against the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. When we come home from that, however, on 11-18, it will be our military night. So heads up for those military packages if you want to get a camouflage River Kings hat. River Kings with it now. Devin Mantha off the draw, circling around, trying to find some space. They're going to get a power play here. It's Stephen Fee. Shot, score! What a shot from the circle. And Mississippi's going to take a 2-0 lead. Only 14 seconds into the power play as Stephen Fee was sitting in the box for slashing. We got the slashing call just before the commercial. I didn't even get a chance to tell you about it before Mississippi buries it. Mississippi 2, Birmingham nothing.
Devin Manth is going to settle in for the draw. We're back to five on five, and Mississippi up 2 nothing. So there you go. You hear it from Tyler Bennett. Kristaps Bozovic. We got the two Latvians on the board today. Mississippi 2, Birmingham nothing. Darius Cole fighting with it for Birmingham down low. He gets it out to the point, but it hops over the stick of Fade and out to center. Fade plays it over to Patrick Harrison. Harrison trying to strong arm his way through Harrington. Harrington went down, but he sealed it off nicely. Also going down is Devin Mantha, who turns it over in the process. Centering ice pass hits the skate of Devin Mantha and goes into the corner. Manny got a good check down there low on Millen. Millen trying to play it. Manny doesn't even have a stick. It's just bouncing around to the high shot. Score! A shot from the high slot by Alexander Tallin beats Jared Rutledge glove side. And just like that, Birmingham pulls back within one. It's 2-1 River Kings. Boy, this is just like last night. We get into the second period and all of a sudden we got goals galore. River Kings win the draw. Dylan Fox wins it back to Richie Coyne, who sends it in, and it hits off a bench player. Out of play, we're going to get a draw. 7.54 left to go in the period. Shots on goal in favor of the River Kings, 14 to 10 so far as we go. Cole and Millen are going to go ahead and get the assists on that goal as we come out for a direct center draw as it went into the bench. Kristaps Bozovic, the recent goal scorer for the River Kings anyway. He plays it all the way down low. Looking for a centering pass. Richie Coyne ends up with it as it was just out of the reach of Keegan Bruce. Keegan Bruce pestering him quite nicely, but able to work it forward. And we're going to get a penalty here. Looks like a slash. Who's it on, though? I see a lot of black protesting, so I think this is going to be on Birmingham. Sure is, Keegan Bruce gonna go to the box for two minutes for slashing at the 7.36 mark of the second period. Last time Mississippi had a power play, boy, that it went quick, 14 seconds before Bozovic's buried at home. Let's see if they could do the same thing here. Settling to the far circle on the left-hand side of Maverick Parks. Devin Mantha, he's out there with Pius Rulavicious and Derek Sutliff. One back to Ralph Grinsberg. Grinsberg to Bazovic. So we got the Latvians, the goal scorers, out there on a line together, the defensemen. Hey, it's funny to call them goal scorers when they're defensemen, but hey, whatever gets the job done. Devin Mantha circling around. John Ray is on him like white on rice. Devin Mantha able to get it over to Bazovic. He cycles it back down, gets it over to Mantha. Mantha with it. Back to Grinbergs. Grinbergs with it. Weak little shot up front. Hits Mantha in front. Mantha gets to the high slot. Back to Bozovic's intercepted. Here comes Birmingham. Two on one if they hurry. On the other, on the far side. Sot, glove down and saved by Jared Rutledge. Coming hard was Craig Simchuk, but Rutledge was able to make the save. It hit off the wrist pad on the mitt and fell right to the ice where he covers up, stopping that shorthanded chance. 118 left to go here in the power play, 654 to go in the period. That was just a simple pass that was trying to come across the blue line, sniffed out very, very nicely by Craig Simchuk, and he's able to take it the other way off the interception for a two-on-one break. Decided, you know what, I'm gonna take the opportunity, but Jared Rutledge was up to the task. Long lead pass. They find Yesmukan Tolopbergen. Tolopbergen out there now on the power play. First time I've said his name since he served a penalty earlier in the first. And a good clearing attempt by Birmingham. Gets it all the way down. Good hustle. Nate Mitten gets down there on the, the uh, clearing attempt. So good play. And I think he just drew a penalty as well. Shot in on goal. Rutledge is able to make the save in the butterfly. And it's handled back and hit back by Graham Yo. Graham Yo gets it over. And it looks to put a shot on, but they say it was touched up by Mississippi beforehand. So with 43 seconds left to go on the power play, Mississippi is going to send somebody to the box. Dylan Fox is on his way over. So after 43 seconds of four on four aside, it's a slash to Dylan Fox. After 43 seconds of four on four aside, 
enjoying a brief one minute, 17 minute power play will be the Bulls. Face-off draw comes to the right of Jared Rutledge, his blocker side. Both of these goaltenders catching with their left hand. Not many full right goaltenders in the league these days who catch with their right hand. Devin Manth is out there. He's out there with Chris Dabbs Bozoviks. They're also uh, Richie Coyne and Derek Sutliff. So you got three guys returning on the team all on one line. San Gam uh, excuse me, Sean Gamage at the point as this weak, it was off the faceoff, it rolls in weakly on Rutledge and he just covers up, wastes two seconds off the timer. Dylan Fox, two minutes for slashing. Stephen Fee steps in to take the draw against Devin Mantha. John Ray's out there as well, along with Sean Gamage. Mississippi wins the draw all the way back into the far corner. Chris Stapps, Bozovic. Bozovic skating forward, looking for Sutliff. Pass just too far out of his reach. John Ray with a backhand off the wall. And he kicks it forward, turnover. Here's Sutliff losing an edge with a shot in on goal. Saved by Parks, dropping into the butterfly. Wasn't able to get everything on that as he was falling down taking the shot was Sutliff. But Sutliff doing a good job getting that shot on. Devin Mantha playing hard on the boards. He's doing a great job. We're going to get a stoppage in play here. Ooh, a little bit of extracurriculars as Fee pushes in on Mantha. And now we got an ensuing fight. Mantha all alone and Fee's coming back for him. Mantha and Fee standing apart, both with outstretched arms holding onto each other's collar before the referee's got to come in and separate him. Mantha and Fee were going at it along the boards, playing very, very hard right in front of the penalty box. And after all this, it's going to be Stephen Fee because of that push. He was the one who start, I don't want to call it a start, but they tell you all the time, if you're one that retaliates, you're going to get it. So going into the box is Stephen Fee. I'm looking to see if they're going to bring Mantha, if we're going to get coincidentals or not. Now Fee's out of the box. They're kicking him out of the game. They're giving him game misconduct. He's going down into the corner and is being taken off the ice. Stephen Fee is being taken off the ice and given a game misconduct. Wow. You know, there was a lot of cross-checking and there was a lot of hitting. I will admit it, it was a gritty play by both Mantha and Stephen Fee. But after the push right there on the boards, they're, they escorted Fee out to the corner boards and he's out of the game. Devin Mantha and Simchuk are down there talking to the referee, Jeffrey Parker, trying to get an explanation of what happened there. Both number 10s for both teams. So after all this, Mississippi will eventually end up with a power play. I'm going to reset the clock for you here. In 11 seconds, Keegan Bruce is going to come out of the box. They're going to have a power play. We're going to skate for a side. Then, after a minute and 28 seconds of four on four, out of the box comes Fox, and Mississippi is going to enjoy a short, very short, 32-second power play. So after all that, it's four on three for a power play, even strength at four on four, and then a five on four power play for Mississippi for all of 32 seconds. Birmingham sends it all the way down. Kristaps Bozovic gloves it down right at the red line, and he gets his team working the other way. They bring it in onside, and it's Bozovic with it near side. Shot in on goal. We are now even at four as Keegan Bruce comes out of the box. Playing four guys aside, Ryan Marcuse with it. He plays it back off the skate of Richie Coyne, or Devin Mantha to Richie Coyne. Coyne looking for a centering pass, finds Mantha who falls down. Here comes Birmingham, two on one, possibly a three on one. Kristaps Bozovic is the defender, the shot in on goal. Great save by Jared Rutledge who gets it in the butterfly and kicked into the corner. That was Keegan Bruce out of the box with the save, or the shot, excuse me. Bruce with another shot, this time hits a stick and goes way up high over into the netting. John Ray, he's got it. He's looking for a long pass. Oh, almost hits Keegan Bruce as he was getting up and out of the ice. So he's taking a step over. That could have been too many men, but he's okay. 4.52 left to go in this wacky second period. Each team has scored once. But Mississippi with that goal in the first period, they hold the edge. It's 2-1 to one River Kings. You're listening to River Kings Hockey on the Mississippi River Kings Hockey Radio Network.
CallTheShield.com is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Hi, I'm JSU head football coach John Gross. Many families in East Alabama have been affected by Alzheimer's and dementia, including mine. Many of us find ourselves in the role of caregiver without any training, education, or support. There's no cure for Alzheimer's, and the disease kills more people than breast cancer and prostate cancer combined. For more information on Alzheimer's and dementia education and caregiver services, call your local agency on aging at 1-800-AGE-LINE. Serious business. Text GOAL to 47464 to learn how Concord can set you up for success. Hey fans, this is Ryan Marcuse, and you're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. So we'll give you a little bit of an update here on what's going on. Stephen Fee ultimately does get kicked out of the game. Verbal abuse of an official, game misconduct, and he's out. Stepping into the faceoff circle, Pius Rula Vicious. Rula Vicious loses the draw to Birmingham, and Andy Bathgate, who gets it back to his defenseman, Ray. Ray streaking hard up the boards, sends one all the way around as it wraps around the boards. Mississippi trying to work it out the other way. That's Rula Vicious. He's out there with Sutliff and Devin Mantha. Or excuse me, Mantha is not out there as it's just four. Just four on four here for just about 13 seconds. And then Mississippi is going to enjoy a nice little power play. Bulls sending it all the way in. It skates in on Jared Rutledge. He plays it back. They're going to hold it for about one second before they get going. And here they go. Here comes Sutliff. Fox is out of the box. A good play by Nate Mitten to negate the move. Rule of Vicious down on the right wing boards. He leaves a centering pass, but it's intercepted by the Bulls and sent all the way back down. River Kings trying to set up some kind of play here and get it going. They have about a, 10 seconds or so to do so. Here they come. Pass up forward. Here comes a shot in on goal, and it's kicked up high as it was by Fox. It hits the skate and goes forward, stopping the clock at 3.46, just one second to go before Yo, who was in the box serving the penalty, is going to come out. He was serving that penalty for verbal abuse of official, or excuse me, for the original two-minute call on Stephen Fee for roughing, and then the verbal abuse of the official. Well, that's, you know, you're out. That's a 10-minute. But that means absolutely nothing as far as gameplay goes. That's just a stat. Stepping in, Jordan Carvalho with Jesse Facchini. Here's a couple guys that we haven't seen in quite some time with all these power plays and penalty kills, and Carvalho gets kicked out. Facchini loses the draw, and it's sent all the way down. Yo, fresh out of the box, looking to make a backhand pass to Bruce, but he can't make it. Bathgate sends it all the way back in, where it's handled by Hall for Mississippi. Hall gets it to Vital Cote as he was plastered against the boards. Looks for a backhand pass, and he does. He gets it out to Artur Jandrozic, and Jandrozic can't control it. And it lands on the hands of John Ray. John Ray banks it off the glasses and almost hits Jeffrey Parker, the referee. And it's going to be waved off for icing because of that. Referee did touch it. Robbie Hall with it now. He's going to be tied up by Bathgate. Bathgate in there jamming at it with his stick as Hall has it tied up. Bathgate ultimately gets the loose puck and wins it and tries to wrap it rack around. Good hit by Vital Cote, and they're going to call him for boarding. That looked like a boarding call if I've ever seen one. Two minutes for boarding going to Vital Cote as he laid the smack down down on Andy Bathgate. 2.58 to go on the clock, so this two-minute penalty will take us to the under one-minute mark of the second period. River King still holding that two-to-one lead. Shot total right now is still in favor of Mississippi, 16 to Birmingham's 11. As Cote is escorted to the box, out there pleading his case with the C on his chest, Devin Mantha. I don't think you're gonna, I don't think in the history of arguments and referees in any sport has anyone ever talked to a referee and the referee ever flip-flopped. So probably just trying to get some clarification on why that was boarding. So on the PK, here comes Mississippi as Bathgate stays in there. We get a whistle. And kicked out of the circle is Bathgate. Keegan Bruce is going to step in to take the draw. Another false draw, and here we go. One back by Bruce. 
Mississippi giving good pressure. Sean Gamage. Gamage as he works up the half wall. He leaves it back for Bathgate, but Sutliff with the interception. Sutliff gets a good lofty pass up there and out of the zone while Devin Mantha gives chase. Ray moves it in, cross ice pass. Backhanded all the way back in by Birmingham. And Mississippi's going to try and move it out. Banked off the wall. Good keep by Alexander Tallin. He's able to keep it in the zone, but the River Kings slap it back down. And it's all the way down. 2.27 left to go on the game clock. 1.27 left to go here on the power play. About a two second differential. By the time I said what was going on in the game clock, we were already even up on the penalty. Brought into the zone by Birmingham. Ray is pestered by Ryan Marcuse, and ultimately, yeah. Marcuse gets it down to Bozovic, who slings it all the way down the ice. Passes close to the boards. You gotta be careful for too many men, and they get called. Maverick Parks played it towards the bench, and they're gonna get called for too many men at the 2.02 mark here in the second period. Trying to hustle over the boards, but try as he might was John Ray, and his right foot was left on the ice, and the puck was hit by his right foot, and they're gonna get called for too many men. 104 left to go on the River Kings penalty to Cote, so he'll be out of the box in a minute and four seconds, 58 seconds left to go in the period. And then Mississippi will have 58 seconds to play with before the horn, and then after that, they're gonna have 59 seconds or so in the third period, assuming they don't put one in the back of the net in 58.2 seconds. Taking the draws, Dylan Fox. He's out there with Ryan Marcuse. Fox loses the draw to the Bulls, who skated up. We're four on four right now for the next 56 seconds. Matt Harrington's out there with Richie Coyne. Ryan Marcuse and Dylan Fox. You've got all four returning guys, four of the seven. Played out in front, sliding across the goal crease. Jared Rutledge, shot not in on goal. Birmingham buzzing real good now. Shot from the point goes way wide. Handled by Fade down low as he pinches from his defensive point. Fade with it, gets smacked down by Ryan Marcuse using that big body. Fade and Marcuse down low, and it's kicked out, but not out of the zone. Mitten with it now. Mitten moving on the far side half wall, gets it to the point. Over to Fade on the near side point, who wraps it all the way around. Coin trying to make something happen, but he can't. It gets out to the point, shot, and kicked off the stick of Jared Rutledge and up into the safety netting. 111 on the clock, 13 seconds left to go before Vital Cote makes his way out of the box. And then they're going to enjoy, it looks like a 56 second power play after that. So they'll actually, they'll get that in, excuse me, in this period. I thought originally we might have some time left over for the next period, but we're not. We'll get it all in here in this period, assuming a goal is not scored. Mantha and Yo taking the draw. It's Yo who wins it all the way back, and Sean Gamage with a weak little shot on Rutledge. Laying a good hit down low on Grinbergs is Yo, but Grinbergs is able to get the puck out. Mississippi's full as Cote comes out of the box. Circling around is Chris Stapps Bozovic. Bozovic over the red line, over the blue line, streaking in, takes a shot that's easily gloved by Parks as he falls down into the butterfly. 48.6 seconds left to go here in the period. 46 seconds to go on the penalty. Again, that's a penalty that's being served by Alexander Tallin for too many men on the ice. Maverick Parks, he knew it the moment it happened and the moment the whistle blew. If you look back at Parks, his head falls back. He knew he shouldn't have played the puck anywhere near the bench when the team was trying to make a change, but here we are. Devin Mantha steps into the circle and he gets it over to his partner, Pius Rulavicious. Back to the point to Grinbergs, who plays catch with his partner on the D pairing, Bozovic. Bozovic and Grinbergs, the two Lafians are out there together again. Over to Bozovic. Bozovic and Grinbergs, also the two goal scorers for the River Kings so far in this game. Cycling down low in the circle, shot blocked away, and it's covered up by Parks. Good job battling down low, but Birmingham smelled that out. They had three guys down low, including Craig Simchuk, who was able to help out with Parks and get him to cover. 22.9 seconds to go here in the period, 21 seconds to go on the power play before Tallin comes out of the box. Dylan Fox will step in. And getting kicked out is Dylan Fox. So here comes Tollett Bergen. Tollett Bergen's gonna go up against Bathgate for the draw. 
And it's going to be Bathgate who wins it back and wrapping it hard around the wall, but keeping it in. River Kings keep it in. That's Grinbergs. He finds Fox. Fox moving over to the high slot. Tries to toe drag, but he loses control of it, and it falls back. Marcuse is able to pick it up. He's got it, and the pass out to the point hops over the stick of Bozovic with four seconds left to go in the period. Not going to be able to break into the zone and do much damage. Marcuse tries a weak backhander, but the horn sounds. That's how we end the second period. Another wild second period, two nights in a row. River Kings two, Bulls one. We got the intermission report coming up. I'll cover everything in the SPHL, what's going on. Plus, we'll play some highlights from last night's four to three win. River Kings two, Bulls one. You are listening to the Mississippi River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Con is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. By 2020, the U.S. will need 80% of nurses to have a BSN degree. Earn yours in just one year. That's like four haircuts, three oil changes, two dentist checkups, and one Halloween costume away. Get started at JSU. Everyone knows high-quality nurses are in high demand, but did you ever stop to think, who's going to teach them? Because those people are going to be in super high demand. Earn your MSN at JSU and be one of the few who impacts the many. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems. APS shields your home from termite infestation, unwanted pests, mold and water intrusion, sagging floors, and unhealthy lawns. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. That's calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the difference. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Welcome back to South Haven, Mississippi, where your Birmingham Bulls are back. Earlier this week, we caught up with the man who brought the Birmingham Bulls back, general partner, Art Clarkson. Art, it's been 16 years since the, the, the Birmingham Bulls have been in town. Sure. Uh, there was a lot of support back then. Uh, what are you looking at now as far as support? What are you seeing from the community uh, uh, with support behind the Birmingham Bulls? Well, I, you know, I don't look for support. I look to become an integral part of the community like we were in the 90s uh, when we had the Barons in the uh, 80s. and. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. I don't like the word support. I love the people come out and participate in our product, and we participate with them, form partnerships, be com totally community involved. And uh, with the hockey players, they, they love it. We've already been to the Children's Hospital. We go everywhere. And the people, as we move toward the season and, and they get to learn these players, you will find that uh, people want to come to different things uh, that we go to. You, you follow? I mean, it's... It's a, we're, we're, hockey players are really an interesting group of guys. They want to be out in the community. You know, when you talk about Birmingham, Alabama, you talk about the South, you generally don't think about hockey. It's usually football, football, football. But you're seeing this growing um, excitement about hockey in the South. Well, it's a lot, there's a lot of ingredients involved there. Back in the 90s, we were drawing terrific downtown. We were drawing crowds as big as 15,000 down there. You know, and uh, but it was like an island down there. There was nothing around us. What's happened? The evolution of the last 20 years is, and it's it's come with youth hockey, 
We have a, a Birmingham Bulls youth traveling team here. We have PHDA, a youth hockey here. We have men's hockey. We, you know, it, it just goes right down to the line. And uh, I, I wish we had more places that have ice like this. But these people here are absolutely critical. If you look at the pro shop behind you, which everybody can't watch right now, but. Uh, uh, the the the, uh, the interest in hockey is great, and I'll tell you this right now: uh, what uh, you know, I, the timing was perfect for us because here's the Predators having this run to the Stanley Cup, right? And uh, we we jumped on that bandwagon because uh, I mean, I, the number one team in Nashville is not the Tennessee Titans; it is the Nashville Predators. And don't let anybody kid you on that. That place is bonkers, and we hope to create what they've got up there too. And in the future, I always see Birmingham uh, being able to participate and, and, and uh, be involved with one major league sport. And to me, if we get the right facilities, it's going to be the NHL. If they can do it in Nashville, we can do it here. Most people probably don't realize, but how far back does the Birmingham Bulls go? The Birmingham Bulls, the first year was 1976 or 77 in the old World Hockey Association. And uh, it was moderately successful. Uh, they had some, you know, a good, a good teams. Uh, but when the uh, NHL merged with the WHA, unfortunately, uh, Birmingham was odd man out. So, and then we came along in 92 in the East Coast Hockey League. We were from 92 to 90, I was there till 98. And I sold a team and the people who bought it for me ran it right into the ground. And uh, the timing, the timing uh, for the last 16 years hasn't been right, okay? Now it's right. The people of Pelham, they're, they're committed to, for what did, making this building a uh, professional hockey uh, venue. And uh, we're go that's what we're going to do, and we're we're going to uh, we're going to really do well in the community. But uh, we have to do a lot of hard work on our end to create the atmosphere, and we're going to do it. Let me tell you something. Uh, I worked with uh, ACN before, back in the 90s, where we televised games back to Birmingham, and we really established that relationship. And uh, it, I tell you right now, this game is going to be on TV, on uh, Charter 80 or uh, Alabama Cable Network. You can watch the game a, a Saturday night, and uh, it'll, it'll give a, a taste of what's coming. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Opportunity lies before me. I can hear it calling. I'm moving forward. I want a place that moves with me. A place to uncover what lies within. To capture a sense of wonder. And discover my true potential. Ability hides in darkness. Waiting for a light to draw it out. I seek knowledge I can depend on. Tangible and illuminated. Led by experienced minds. I want to go where I can dwell among friends. Where relationships are lifelong and dedication transcends graduation. I want higher learning I can afford. Where support and aid is a passion. I want to go where I am more than a number. Where mentors know me by name. I want to go where I can expand my way of thinking. And creativity is second nature. I want to go where a great challenge means greater reward. I want to go where my voice can be heard. I want 
to go where I will be accepted. Shield.com is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Welcome back to the Lander Center here in South Haven, Mississippi, where the Birmingham Bulls are taking on the Mississippi River Kings. Earlier this week, we caught up with head coach Jamie Hicks to talk about the return of the Bulls and the team. Well, you know, being part of the resurgence of uh, the Bulls is, you know, obviously a great uh, privilege for myself to be come back and uh, lead this team in, into the next uh, chapter of hockey down here. And, um, you know, we have a great bunch of kids down here working hard and uh, we're trying to take that energy into the season. Uh, how many years you've been associated with hockey? Oh. You know, we're Canadian. You know, uh, we start when we're three years old, and uh, you know, you just kind of build on it. But uh, you know, everyone takes a different path to be here, and uh, but we're all here for the same reason to bring a championship to Birmingham. Where are you originally from? Uh, Peterborough, Ontario. Peterborough, Ontario, and. Uh, uh, you know, it's a long way away, but um, being familiar with this area from playing here back in the 90s, uh, can't be any, any happier being back. Are you starting to see, a, you know, the, the growth in hockey down south has been really prevalent. You know, you've got the National Predators, you've got several teams in and around Atlanta, but especially Birmingham area and the Pelham area, you've just seen this huge just insurgence of hockey. Um, what, what all are you seeing from that? Well, obviously, you're, you're seeing players being developed all throughout the U.S. now. You know, two years ago, a player from Phoenix, Arizona, was drafted first overall in Austin Matthews. So, and that's a direct affiliation with uh, uh, Phoenix having an NHL team. So, um, not only are we here to uh, play hockey, but the guys here will be helping out with the youth as much as they can, and hopefully, uh, you know, turn over a couple good players along the way and just help build hockey. How's the team looking right now? Well, you know, we're a first-year team, but we, the energy we have and the team camaraderie we have, uh, I'm really happy with. You know, we're still a team that's growing. Um, you know, we, we want to be good as fast as we can without hurting the uh, foundation. And um, sometimes you have to uh, take it slowly a little bit, but um, I can't be any happier with the energy that we have right now. Uh, how many long-time veterans do you have on the team? What's, what's probably the oldest <laughs> Guy that you have. Well, you know, we have uh, one player uh, that has veteran status in this league. Uh, we still have two spots open. Uh, we're going to give the young kids uh, their opportunity to, to kind of get used to the league. And if we feel that uh, we need some veterans to kind of help us through that next uh, step to be, being a better club, we will. But, um, you know, it's up to the kids whether they can handle, uh, handle it right now. But uh, we have three or four guys that have been in the league a long time. We have great leadership group uh, with our captains and two A's. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see how the young guys uh, produce. You know, a lot of people, when they think about hockey, especially the people down south, they may think about uh, the movie Slapstick and, and the, the, the brothers that used to be the bruisers out there. In, 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 in hockey, do you still have that, or has it become more of a precision-based, uh, I guess, accurate sport than just having bruisers? Well, obviously, hockey's uh, progressed where it's bigger, faster, stronger, like every other sport. So, um, you know, if you play hockey the way it's supposed to be played, um, eventually there's going to be a tussle here and there. Um, but the skill is so good right now, you can't afford that uh, to happen all the time like back in the day. So um, we, have a, we have a good mix of all that sort of stuff right now. And um, after the first couple weekends, we'll know where we have to improve. And um, hopefully in that November uh, third game, uh, we're looking forward to a big crowd at home and open up the Pellet uh, Civic Center. Speed looking good? Speed's been great. I'm very happy with that. Uh, you, you know, we have big forwards that can skate. Um, you know, uh, whenever you have young uh, players playing in pro hockey for the first time, it's just getting over those jitters and um, hitting the back of the net a couple times to really get comfortable. So, uh, like I said before, we're, we're happy where we are. Um, you know, we know we have a lot of work to do, and uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to take that challenge uh, head on. You got any Alabama boys playing with them? Not yet, but you know that's it's all it's all great. Uh, I've been here uh, two months and I've been following uh, you know some Alabama players down here, seeing how they're doing and stuff like that. But you know that all comes with, with time, and uh, um, you know we have we have players from all over the world, right from Russia to uh, Vancouver to uh, all over the U.S. So um, we're a d diverse uh, team from all over the place, and uh, we're trying to gel as quick as we can.
CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems. APS shields your home from termite infestation, unwanted pests, mold and water intrusion, sagging floors, and unhealthy lawns. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. That's CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the difference. As the friendliest campus in the South, Jacksonville State University is known for its welcoming and hospitable culture. This reputation, combined with its mission to provide world-class customer service, makes JSU the ideal venue for your next conference or special event. Located in the lovely foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, midway between Atlanta and Birmingham off Interstate 20, the small Alabama University offers a picturesque but convenient setting for meetings, camps, and conferences. JSU's conference service team serves as a one-stop shop for coordinating all aspects of your event, from lodging to meals and everything in between, making planning and communication easy for you. These dedicated conference service professionals are available year-round to assist you in planning your event. Classrooms and computer labs are available in a variety of sizes, as well as conference rooms and theater-style settings. Gymnasiums, field space, and auditorium options are also available to accommodate larger groups. The luxurious Gamecock suites serve as the perfect venue for conferences or receptions and come with a stunning view overlooking Burgess Snow football field and the mountains beyond. Nine on-campus residence halls, including the newly renovated Sparkman Hall, offer both traditional and suite-style lodging for guests. All buildings are air-conditioned and offer access to Wi-Fi, laundry, cable, and other amenities for your comfort. Convenient on-campus dining can be arranged for your group in Jack Hopper Dining Hall, where you'll find delicious meal options to satisfy each individual appetite. Full-service catering options are also available. Fitness and recreation facilities are also accessible to summer guests, including pool and gym. So whether you're planning a professional conference, staff retreat, or summer sports camp, JSU Conference Services invites you to be our guest and host your next gathering on the friendliest campus in the South. CallTheShield.com is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Hey fans, this is River Kings forward Devin Mantha. Catch every River Kings game with TJ Shalott on the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Welcome back into the second intermission. We only got 30 seconds to go before puck drop, so we'll give you a real quick breakdown of what's going on here elsewhere in the SPHL. Starting with Macon and Huntsville, that game still tied, or excuse me, still Huntsville up three to one over Macon. Goals in that game, Derek Pearl, Cy Nutkovich, and Nolan Kaiser for Huntsville. Daniel Echeverry netting one for Macon. As for Evansville and Peoria, that game also remaining the same from last intermission. Evansville with the 2-1 lead over Peoria. Justin McDonald and Mark Patasio with the goals. Peoria's Cody Dion with the lone goal for the Rivermen. So that's what we got going on elsewhere around the SPHL. And boy, that time went quick because we are ready for the third period. It's the money period. Mississippi with a 2-1 lead over the Birmingham Bulls. And the River Kings are trying their darndest to go ahead and spoil the inaugural game for the Birmingham Bulls. 
Both first lines are out there for the River Kings. It's Sutliff, Mantha, and Rula Vicious. They're taking on Bathgate, Bruce. And Bruce is gonna, excuse me, Bathgate's gonna step in for the draw and Mississippi wins the draw. Devin Mantha gets it back to Derek Sutliff with just out of the reach and here we go, third period underway. Handled by Ralph Scrinsberg, he plays it high off the boards. A jumping linesman had to get out of the way, but it's handled by Birmingham in their own zone as they move right to left, Mississippi moving left to right. Intercepted here by Birmingham, here they go. That's Mitten, Nate Mitten with the ability to move forward, but he gets sealed off by Ralph Scrinsberg and Matt Harrington. These two have been playing a lot of time together, except for the special teams, and I, I kind of see now after two games what Coach Landmesser is up to in that regard. Birmingham keeping it below the line with Mitten, Bathgate, and Bruce trying to work this lower and lower and lower. They've gotten one in on goaltender Jared Rutledge making his, N his SPHL debut. It's tied up along the boards directly behind Rutledge. Boys, this is a tough spot to be if your goaltender is trying to crane left and right looking behind you. Which way is it coming? Which way is it coming? Wraparound City. John Ray keeps the line, but it's intercepted by Mantha. He tries to backhand chip it out to Rula Vicious, but it's sent all the way down. Rutledge handles it in the trapezoid and leaves it for Harrington as Harrington works up. Birmingham getting a change. Here comes Mississippi moving it forward. Dylan Fox, he loses control of it. The Bulls coming back the other way. Simchuk with it, she takes a blast off the glove and into the corner of Rutledge. Chipped forward and into the neutral zone, so Birmingham's gonna have to regroup with Mississippi stolen as his pocket is picked. By Fade right on the DAC logo, gets it down low. He finds number 17 for the Bulls out there. It's Maxim Noskov. We haven't heard much from him since the first period. Moving forward is Fade. Fade back to the looking for a centering point, but it's moving around. That's Tessarero he was looking for at the point. Tessarero, as we get a penalty, what are we gonna, is this a, excuse me, a stoppage, is this a penalty? Or are they just calling it an offsides? I think it was just an offsides. It was a very delayed offside call. Millen and Cole, they're out there for Birmingham with the goal scorer, Tallin. Backhander right over Cole's head. It hits off the glass and goes all the way down. We're going to get an icing call as Millen can't catch up to it. And Mississippi beats him out to it. 17.58, we're two minutes through. Fee is still in the box serving the penalty that was assessed earlier for his 10 minutes. So he'll be back. Jordan Carvalho gets kicked out of the faceoff circle and Jesse Facchini is gonna come in. He's gonna take off against Millen and Facchini wins it. Trendrosic with a shot kicked away by Maverick Parks. Chris Tapspazovic throws it in and Facchini with a tip, but another good save off the pillows for Parks. Here comes Cole for Birmingham. He comes across the blue line, but is in behind the play as it's whistled for an offside. 17.46 left to go here in the third period. Just a reminder, hey, we're back for another season, the River Kings Coaches Show at Maria's Cantina in South Haven. Myself joined with coach Derek Landmesser as well as the stars of the game. They'll be joining us at just about every Tuesday from here until the end of the season for the Coaches Show. We'll talk as long as we don't have a game. That's pretty much it. Or a holiday. But we'll be there for Coaches Show at Maria's Cantina. Andy Bathgate gets sent out of the faceoff circle and coming in is Nate Mitten. And Mitten's gonna lose the draw as it's won by the River Kings back to Cote. Cote flings it up forward. He finds a streaking piece, Rula Vicious. Rula Vicious to Sutliff, but Sutliff's shot is canceled out by the defense. He's able to get his own rebound off the board. River Kings moving in, high slot drop for Mantha, but Mantha can't handle it. Another pass to Mantha, goes to go backhand to forehand, but he's not able to get the forehand shot off, and it ultimately just goes to the wall. Backhand pass looking for Sutliff is unable to be handled. It seems like in the first three minutes or so of each period, the puck is moving a lot faster than guys are expecting, and it's slipping by them almost as, it's, as if it's slippery as it gets whistled down here for icing. Passes are right on the mark, but guys just can't quite handle it, so we'll be able to take care of that. Offensive zone draw for the River Kings. It's Jordan Carvalho coming in to take the draw against Bathgate to the left of Parks. Birmingham wins it, wraps it hard around the boards, but Mississippi's able to keep it in. 
Good keep there by Ralph Grinbergs. High lofty pass by the Bulls into the zone. That's going to wave off the icing. Oh, good shot. Robbie Hall and Arthur Drendrozic both laying on hits and getting into the actions. Keegan Bruce for the Bulls. Ray has it now as the defenseman for the Bulls. He banks a pass that's intercepted by the River Kings. Matt Harrington tried to bring it into the zone, but Sean Gamage thought otherwise. He chips it in and gives chase, moving around Kristaps Bazovic and punching it out. It's fade, fade back to the point. Shot hits off a stick and goes into the glass. That shot coming from Maxim Nozkov. Nozkov loses it, and here comes Mississippi. Artur Drendrozic pushing it forward, muscling really hard, trying to get it through, but ultimately the puck comes in, and Drendrozic couldn't get back in off side, on side. So with 16-17, we're going to get another stoppage here. River Kings 2, Bulls 1. Shot calculator back in favor of the River Kings by a good margin. 22 shots on Maverick Parks and 14 on Jared Rutledge. Both goaltenders playing very solid, but for the most part, even the goals have not been clean shots. Tolopbergen is out there. That's Bechukan, excuse me, yes, Rukan Tolopbergen. We saw Bechukan play in just a couple minutes a little bit earlier. Parks tries to play it into the corner. It hits the, the referee, Jeffrey Parker. It's off his skate, and that does a favor for the River Kings. Dylan Fox chasing it down. A long lead pass coming from Alexander Tallin. Tallin is looking for uh, his partner out there, Phil Toresco. Harrington ultimately gets it down in the corner and works it forward. Harrington moving back. He finds Chris Stapps Bozovic. So now he's playing with the other Latvian as Ralph Grinsberg is on the bench right now, getting a little bit of a rest. Moving forward, Dylan Fox. Great job by Tollett Bergen to make space. Shot from Fox off a skate and over to the wall. Backhanded in by Fox, looking for Ryan Marcuse. Marcuse gets plastered to the wall by Fade. Fade's able to find Cole, and Cole gets it back to Fade. Here come the Bulls trying to work it out. Lofty pass looking for Fade as he moves forward. Fade up to Tallin. Tallin falling down, tries to make a pass. Hits off Tollettbergen skate and out to center. Tollettbergen giving a good push there, and he brings it in on side, but he's not able to catch up to the puck. He was moving faster than the puck, and he couldn't bring it in for a chance. He had the opportunity there, but he couldn't get his feet underneath him. Cote with a pass looking for Rule of Vicious. They say Rule of Vicious did not touch it, so it goes down past the goal line for icing. 14.46 left to go here in the third period. River Kings 2, Bulls 1. You're listening to the Mississippi River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Con is the solution to unwanted pests, mosquito control, and turf management. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Education as we know it is becoming obsolete. The world keeps changing, but the way we teach our children barely has. And there is no one right solution to change that. Instead, it's going to take a lot of bright minds working together. At JSU, our goal is simple. Shape the next generation of teachers and change education through how we educate. So if a career in education is in your future, well, then there's no question where you're going. And we welcome you back. The ensuing draw to the left of Jared Rutledge is won by the Bulls as they move forward. Mississippi brings it in. That's Sutliff. Sutliff gets hit and hammered on the boards. A centering pass, but nobody's home. It's Mitten who handles it and moves it forward. Mitten finds Bruce. Bruce playing a pass off the wall, trying to catch up to it himself. He gets hit by Ralph Grinsberg. Grinsberg with it. He's tied up down low. Nobody's moving. Lots of pushing and shoving. Devin Mantha's down there as well as Mitten. Finally, the puck gets, comes loose, and then Mantha just ties up Mitten once again, or Keegan Bruce once again. So we're just getting a lot of time being ticked off the clock here by the River Kings. Moving it out, Mitten gets it back again. These guys are moving three feet at a time before being pinched against the wall, and ultimately, the Mississippi comes away with it, and they send it all the way down. This is gonna hit the wall and be called icing. No, they waved off the icing, so okay, no problem. Didn't see the arm go up. Keegan Bruce with it now. He plays it across to Simchuk. Simchuk with a backhander held onto by Jared Rutledge in the butterfly. Routine save by the goaltender from Aurora University. 
13-39 left to go here in the period. River Kings two, Bulls one. We, um, as we were going, as we were talking a little bit earlier, talking about the Latvians, they have the two goals tonight. I think you're going to see them playing a lot more in offensive situations and power plays as we get forward. Kristaps Bozovics being one of those. With it now, Tessarero, he loses control to Artur Drendrozic, who throws a shot in on goal. What a quick blocker save needed to be made by Parks, and he puts it up into the safety netting. That was not an easy save for Maverick Parks, as that shot was coming in a hurry and from an awkwardly standing Drendrozic. Look, th this is just how Drendrozic scored last night. As he's falling to his knees, he gets a shot off, and the shot was so hard, I think for half a second, the goaltender didn't quite realize what was happening, and he was just a split second too low to get into the butterfly, and the shot beat him. Almost like, wow, how did he get that off? Falling, Bobby Orr style. Jordan Carvalho steps in against Stephen Fee, who's back out there after his 10-minute misconduct for abusing of officials. One back, Mississippi gets it into the neutral zone. It's Vital Cote. Cote with a shot in on goal, gloved down by Maverick Parks, and we're going to get another faceoff on the far side. Mississippi moving left to right. Birmingham moving right to left. River Kings holding on to this two to one lead. They won last night by a four to three final. Two one goal games so far. As we get down into the final minutes, if this score should hold up, we'll let you know what Maverick Parks does and if he heads to the bench and when for that extra attacker. But we've got 13 minutes and a lot of time. Off the draw, a weak shot from Jesse Fakini is handled by Nosmov. And Noskov is going to send it all the way down. Kristaps Bozovic gets hammered into the wall. And Arturs Drindrozic is back there to help him out and get that puck loose. Drindrozic falling down, gets a good pass through out to the neutral zone. And here comes Fakini up the right wing boards. Fakini dumps it in, trying to give chase. There's Drindrozic. He handles it. Ooh, loses an edge. Gets a pass as he's losing an edge. Dylan Fox turnaround shot, but it went parallel to the goal line. No save even needed to be made. Drendrozic has been making so many plays on his knees, off his feet, in the air, you name it. He's been doing everything but passing when he's standing on his own two feet. Great hustle so far by the former FHL player. Noskoff with it now. He's coming up the center. He's got help. He takes a shot, kicks off the skate of Harrington and into the corner. Robbie Hall backhands it. He goes down hard in that corner after making the play. Bulls able to keep the zone. Shot in on goal. It's played off Hall. He takes it from the chest and gets it up to Drindrozic. Drindrozic to Fox. Fox trying to split the D. Takes a shot. Hits off the feet and is laying right out in front of the high slot. But making a great play while falling forward is Andrew Darago. And we're going to get a whistle. We get a whistle and the Bulls not happy with it. I think we're going to get we're going to see a penalty. The moment the whistle was blown, I saw Patrick Harrison throw his hands out as if to say what? What are you talking about? It's not Harrison that's going to the box, however. It's going to be Darius Cole who's going to sit two minutes. So at the 12.01 mark of the third period, the Bulls going to send Cole to the bench, or excuse me, to the box, and the River Kings going to get another power play attempt. Out there for the power play, it's the top line, Rula Vicious, Mantha, and Sutliff. Mantha loses the draw. The Bulls play it behind their own goal. And Simchuk tries to send it out and ultimately finds Fee. Fee gets it to Ray, who laces a shot in over the head of Rutledge. Handled by Ralphs Grinbergs. Grinbergs dangles around one guy and gets it out to Manum. Mantha. Mantha across the red line. He gets it to Sutliff, but Sutliff can't hand on, hang on to it, and it's sent out to the neutral zone by the Bulls. Bozovic looking for a long lead pass off the wall to Mantha. Mantha down below the goal line, wraps it around, looking for Bozovic at the far point. Bozovic handles it and gets it back to Mantha in the corner. Mantha fighting off two Bulls defenders right there. Getting it down low. That's Sutliff. Sutliff plays it back to Mantha, who gets it further back to the point to Bozovic. Finding Mantha in the half boards, you can see that Devin is really quarterbacking this play from those half walls. Ralph Grinsberg gets a pass, almost a pick play set up, shot in on goal, gloved down by Marks, but not Parks, but not able to hold on. And ultimately, the Bulls get it down. Quick, rapid firing by Mississippi. We're down to 51 seconds left to go here on the power play. Moving forward, Vital Cote. He finds Dylan Fox as the River Kings have changed. 
Fox moves over, moving down, moving down into the trapezoid. Takes a good hit down low, but he's able to get it to Kote. Kote back to Fox, centering pass out to Marcuse, backhand shot saved by Parks. Another shot from Kote, and Parks is up to the task. Puck's now out at the neutral zone, and it's Kote who backhands it to Marcuse, trying to bring it in the zone. It was Phil Tessereo who's got it now, or excuse me, who was putting the pressure on Mississippi with it. Shot blocked down out in front. The Bulls sling it all the way down. Eight seconds left to go in the penalty, and it's Cole standing up in the box, getting ready to come out. Three, two, one. They're going to wait for him to come out of the box before starting a play from their own zone. That's the River Kings, that is. And it's Matt Harrington, and it's full strength for Cole. Pass across the ice. Handled by Sean Gamage. He banks it off the wall looking for Mitten, but Mitten gets tied up. Andy Bathgate gets a hold of it, and he brings it in the zone, backhanding. Mitten giving chase. He's down there with Jesse Facchini. Facchini gets it out, and he finds Vital Cote. Cote's pass was blocked and head up to Arthur Drindrozic. Drindrozic up the right wing board and hard. Tries to get a shot off, but it ends up being a slow, leaking little shot off a backhand attempt that's covered up by Parks with 9.28 left to go here in the third period. We are halfway through this final frame. River Kings 2, Bulls 1. You're listening to River Kings Hockey on the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. In Alabama, there are two things we take serious, football and barbecue. And at August Barbecue, we take our business serious. Our meat is smoked daily to give you the freshest and best quality. Ask about our daily vegetable specials. And don't forget about our beef brisket served up every Thursday and Friday. We have a great outdoor seating area to enjoy the best live music around every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Great service, great atmosphere, and great food. August Barbecue, you can taste the difference. CallTheShield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit CallTheShield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. Devin Mantha, you're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Welcome back to Planners Bank Ice here at Lander Center. 9.28 left to go. Here in the third period, the River Kings lead the Bulls 1-0. They also win the faceoff draw and a weak shot from Ralph Grinsberg over the head of Maverick Parks as we move forward. Time ticking off the clock, and it's now becoming a time management game as far as the River Kings are concerned. And time management 101, any hockey coach will tell you, get another goal. Devin Mantha with it on the half boards after an interception, but he turns it over to Phil Tessereo, who finds his forwards moving forward. Chipped in by Z uh, Nate Mitten. Mitten tying up down low. Grinsberg looking for a call. Not going to get it. I didn't think there was a call there. Down low, Devin Mantha trying to fight it out, but it's Mitten who wins it back. He finds... Uh, his defense partner, Tessereo. Tessereo gets it down low. <laughs> Tying it up again down low on the boards. This is probably the fourth or fifth time we've seen this strong defensive play. Is Robbie Hall down there with Ralph Grinsberg. Taking it forward. Here comes Mantha. Mantha banks it off the wall. Pius Rulavicious, he scored in last night's game, getting his first goal in the SPHL. Marcuse is tied up along the boards after taking a hit from Phil Tessereo. And Tessereo is going to get it in the trapezoid, but he's pestered by Dylan Fox. Fox with the turnover. He gets it to Marcuse. Here comes Mississippi in the offensive zone. Far pass out to the point. Vital Cote. Cote down low looking for Marcuse, but Marcuse pass was too hot to handle. It bounces on him a little bit, giving him time, or excuse me, giving Birmingham time to get on top of her. Top of him. Millen with, moving in court forward, and it's offsides. That pass was just a little too hot for Marcuse to handle. And in that split second, Birmingham was able to get tighter on Marcuse and make sure that he couldn't make the pass across ice. And that's what ultimately got the puck out into the center ice area and brought in offsides by Birmingham. Millen's going to take the draw. He's out there with Cole on his left wing. Puck is dropped going right to Cole, but just out of his reach. And it's sent all the way back in. Darigo has it now. He's going to move into the trapezoid. He's going to get the troops set up as they move forward. Cole banks it off the wall, looking for Millen. Millen across the red line, across the blue line on the near side, into the circle, down below the goal line. 
pestered and tied up tightly by Cote. Cote's out there. Alexander Tallinn looking for a pass across the middle, but it's intercepted by the River Kings, and here they come, moving with numbers. Jesse Facchini, he's got Jordan Carvalho, shot from Facchini on goal, kicked away by the pillows of Maverick Parks. Artur Drendrozic is out there as well. These lines have been together for the better part of these two games now, aside from special teams opportunities. Millen with a big windup and a blast off the shin pad, shot in on goal, saved by Rutledge. That was Tallinn who was able to get the shot off the shin pad of the River Kings, and Drendrozic is going to go down hard after getting a stick up high. He's laying down almost on the red line right near the Planters Bank logo. He got a stick up high. We're going to see a high sticking call to Alexander Tallinn for sure. The question's going to be, is it a two or is it a four? I think Drendrozic is going to go over. He's going to go see Corey Delaney, the head athletic trainer. And we'll find out if that's a two minute or a four minute. I haven't seen quite yet. Two minutes for a standard high stick, four minutes if you draw blood. One of my favorite parts about the game of hockey. It is a two minute rule. I'm pretty sure that's the only sport that I can think of where if somebody bleeds, it actually changes the outcome of something. And I think that's awesome. Two minutes on the clock, it's just a standard high sticking. 7.04 on the game clock. Let's see what the River Kings do. They got that first line out there. Sutliff, Mantha, Pius Rulavicious. Defense, the two Latvians and the two goal scorers, Ralph Grinsberg. He's got it now, gets it over to Bozovic at the other point. Bozovic's down low to Sutliff. Sutliff looking for a centering pass, but it goes through everybody and out the other side. River Kings trying to keep the zone. Mantha gets it. It just comes out of the zone, and Mantha's going to play around with it a little bit and make sure everybody gets set up. They don't want to have any stoppages. That's the killer in a power play. The more stoppages you get, the more momentum you kill. Mantha with a long pass out to point, looking for Sutliff, who taps it to Bozovic. Bozovic from the high slot, shot blocked down low, and Sutliff with the follow-up, but Mavericks Parks is able to glove it, and he skates out of the crease after getting it. A little bit of extracurriculars going right there where Parks was making the save in the blue paint. As Mantha's involved again, this time it's Pius Rulavicious. This is a tight game. It's only 2-1 to one with 6.31 left to go in the game. Got to keep your head. Cooler heads will always prevail in a game that's this tight, regardless of whether you're on the winning side or the losing side as it reads right now. Still some jabber jawing, the linesmen and referees. They're pointing to the box. Are they sending somebody? Let's see if we can get this sorted out here in a second. I think we're going to see coincidental minors. Everybody's skating around. We're getting line changes. They're moving the draw out. This is, nobody seems to know what, what's going on. Devin Mantha is over on the other side of the blue line, wondering why the faceoff's not down lower, as it's still gonna just remain a five on four. We're not gonna see coincidental minors. We're not gonna see anything. Mantha gets kicked out of the draw, so Sutler's gonna step in and take it, but it's Yo who wins it back to his defenseman that slings it all the way down around the wards. Wrapped around and stopped by Rutledge. Rutledge leaves it for Sutliff, who gets it across to Mantha. Mantha has to play it off the boards as he missed the initial pass and get it back. Bozovic has it now. He gets it to Mantha on the near side boards, looking for it forward. Here comes Marcuse. Marcuse with it. Wraps it around the boards. Stopping for Fox. Or excuse me, that was uh, Ralph Grinsberg. He was out there. Tying it up again. Now we're seeing more... Kicking at it, feet down low. Everybody's in there, Marcuse is in there. River Kings win it back to the point. Down low to Mantha, Mantha with a shot blocked away. Good save by Maverick Parks. Another shot in on goal. This one glances off his glove and goes wide. River Kings getting great shots. That's their third so far on this power play opportunity. But here come the Bulls shorthanded. It's Mitten. Mitten plays a pass that's knocked down by Grinbergs and kicked away. Trying to dangle around is Bozovic, but Bozovic gets pestered right out in front. That was Stephen Fee who was giving him some problems, and they send it in right on Jared Rutledge, who gloves it down and leaves it for his defenseman. Here they come. Harrington moving it forward. He finds Dylan Fox, but the pass just outside of his reach, and the Bulls looking to make a play. Good forecheck. It's kicked out in front. Shot in on goal. Saved by Parks. River Kings are keeping that pressure down low in that offensive zone. We're full strength now, it's five on five. Fee can't handle the pass. Harrington down low. 
He gets it over to Tolipbergen. Tolipbergen's out there on the line now. And Cote handles it as a pass was going high off the glass. Took it out of the zone. Tolipbergen looking for Harrington. And Harrington's just going to retreat back and get something set up. Tolipbergen going to the bench. Had everybody moving towards the boards and towards the wall for the bench. He had nowhere to pass it to. And the Bulls break it out. Sean Gamage with a shot on goal. Goes wide. I guess I could, shouldn't say shot on goal if it doesn't get on goal, but that went wide. No shot. Don't count it. If you're keeping stats at home, don't count that one. Gamage with Tolene now takes a shot blocked away off the blocker of Jared Rutledge. Almost hit Matt Harrington in the head. Harrington fighting hard down low, trying to get this off the wall, trying to move it out. He's down there with Bathgate and Tolene. The two of them are in there. Harrington's in there. Everybody's in there. Trying to break this out. We got sticks laying down in front. We're right at the markings of the trapezoid. And finally, the River Kings come out, and it's Matt Harrington. Harrington looks for a backhand pass, looking for Fakini. Fakini's going to beat the icing and then take a big hit. But he jumped right as he was getting hit, which allowed him to actually absorb the hit. Artur Drozic throwing a big hit on Phil Tessereo. Tessereo's going to fall down, but giving good pressure, trying to get it out. Mantha walks with it. He's going to try. Try, kicks it to himself with a little backhand looking for a pass out in front. Knocked away. Keegan Bruce streaking up the left wall. Robbie Hall going in for a hip check, but he missed him. And Bruce gets it in onside. He finds Mitten. Mitten backhands, stops and turns the brakes and looks to make a pass. He gets taken down as the puck lays there in the bottom of the, wall, the trapezoid. Pass out in front, shot is blocked away. Here comes Artur Drindrozic. He plays it off the wall, trying to break out. Sutliff, but he couldn't quite get there. Sutliff doing a good job. He intercepts, looking for the pass, the centering pass. He had a man, but it was just too far. That was Pius Rulevicius. Bozovic with it. He's looking for the pass in front. Can't be handled by a River King, and it lands on the stick of Keegan Bruce. Keegan Bruce plays it back to John Ray, who gets it back to Bruce, trying to break it out of the zone, and it does get to the neutral zone, where they move it forward. Here comes Millen. Millen on the near side. Kicks it down low. River Kings there fighting and bringing it back out of the zone. So Cole has to play it. They are on side, shot in on goal, kicked away by Rutledge. Big juicy rebound to John Ray, but John Ray wasn't in an angle to get a shot off, and the River Kings move it down. Intercepted by Fee, who leaves it there for Cole, who spins it right back to Fee. Fee tries to move around a hit of Harrington. He does, gets a shot, hits off the back of the twine on the outside of the net. And here comes Ralph Scrinsberg, who sends it all the way down. That's going to be called for an icing. Right now, 2.03 left to go here in the third period. It's as tight as tight can be. River Kings 2, Bulls 1. You're listening to the River Kings Hockey Radio Network. Bulbashield.com is the solution to pest and termite problems, mold and water intrusion, and sagging floors. Visit calltheshield.com to schedule your free evaluation. Alabama Professional Services, protection for your home. November is Alzheimer's Caregivers Awareness Month. Hi, I'm JSU head football coach John Gross. There are four kinds of people in this world. Those who have been caregivers, those who are currently caregivers, those who will be caregivers, and those who will need caregivers. Many families in East Alabama have been affected by this terrible disease, including mine. For more information on Alzheimer's and dementia education and caregiver services, call your local agency on aging and go purple for Alzheimer's Month. Jared Rutledge, the goaltender in net for the River Kings tonight. He's in line for his first ever professional victory as a goaltender. River Kings 2-0-2 away from making that happen for him as they hold the 2-1 lead over the Bulls. Gamage with it now for the Bulls. He circles in his own high slot and then plays a backhand pass looking over to Simchuk. Simchuk's not able to get his pass over and the River Kings gain possession. Turning around, Dylan Fox. Fox, he's working up tight. He was working with Bechmukhan Tolipbergen. Tolipbergen giving chase here. Bulls dump in and give chase. That's Fee. Fee looking for a centering pass, but smelled out by Tolipbergen. Down low are the Bulls. They're trying to work it out forward. Maxim Noskov. Noskov gets it out to Ray. Ray at the point as he's coming by the top of the circle. His shot gets hit, and it flutters behind Jared Rutledge with it now. The Bulls, they're keeping good pressure. Noskov getting it out. He finds Bathgate. 
Basket down low, he finds Ray with a shot blocked away. You'd almost think right now the River Kings were on a PK because of the way they're grouping and allowing all this open space for the Bulls. Centering pass is knocked down, and here come the River Kings. Devin Mantha under one minute. They've pulled the goaltender. It's six on five. Here we go. Marcuse with it below the goal line. He moves it up towards the half wall. Turnaround shot from Mantha just wide of the goal. Yo moving forward, and Mitten handles it. Mitten dropping it back to Fee. Here he comes, moving it forward, and it's kicked in by Bozovic. Bozovic backhands it. Here are the Bulls. They're trying 30 seconds left to go. They're trying to tie this up and even the score. Fade out there as well. Here comes Mantha, two-on-one opportunity. His shot about three inches wide and handled by Tolletbergen. Tolletbergen gets pinched to the glass. 18 seconds left to go. Turnover, shot, and score. With 15.4 seconds left to go, yes, Mukan Tolbergen gets his very first goal in the SPHL on an empty netter, picking off the pass in the middle, and he had a wide open net. That's going to be the icing on the cake. River Kings three, Bulls one. 15.4 seconds left to go. Maverick Parks, he's back out there as we go back to five on five. You know, it's funny because I said, you know, it looked almost like they were playing defense like a power play, but Parks hadn't left the, the cage yet. He was still there. It wasn't until about oh, eight or nine seconds after I said that where Parks actually made a break for the bench. Ten seconds left to go here in the game. Moving it forward. Darrigan shows it, sends it down. Three, two, one. And the River Kings are going to start the season 2-0. and oh. They spoil the inaugural game for the Birmingham Bulls, who move to 0-1 on the season. River Kings 3, Bulls 1. We're going to take a real quick break here, come back for a short post game. I only have so much time here before we get booted off the air. Real quick, short post game. I'll clue you in on all the goal scorers from tonight, as well as the rest of the SPHL. River Kings.